a stuttering John Melendez roundtable discussion. Welcome to Point Dabble Point, a weekly discussion where we get caught up on the week that was, debate outrageous theories, and weigh a retarded man's shit. I'm Carl Hamburger, and with me this week is Shuli Egar, Bob Levy, producer Chris, and Tukey. Welcome, gentlemen. Thank you. Thanks for Good being to be here. Us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, this is what I want to talk about. This, I'm muted this first, still. this first <laughs> week, <laughs> is everyone still muting themselves? Yeah, they're still muted. Yeah. Whoa, okay. Carl. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what a week this was in the Dabbleverse, and John obviously shows scat porn on his show yesterday the n-word was thrown around a few times have you seen this yet producer chris yeah i got okay, caught up you got caught up on thank this. you dabbles uh dabbles anonymous how is that in the subreddit still i don't know <laughs> no one's flagged that <laughs> well thank god it's Seems, actually uh, still on facebook is. believe it yes. or not so i, I know john is still, still up on muted. Facebook. <laughs> i muted yeah. myself yeah <laughs> I knew you were going to do it, too. I was going to bet, Carl, that you were going to not. Oh, Jesus him. Christ. I seen a video on the news yet last night. <laughs> <laughs> what did Dan Rather everywhere. think about it? <laughs> yeah. So what, what a crazy week for John. A lot happened. It was his birthday on the 4th. That was a big deal for him. I think he had a birthday week because he was celebrating every day this week. It seemed yeah. like I have some thoughts about that. But I want to start off with. What happened on his show yesterday, he took the video down right away. Of course, forgot to take it down off Facebook. He's an idiot. Whoops. But the question is, does he have a week-long suspension from YouTube? He won't answer to that. Like, I, we tried to help him, and he just wants he wants what he wants. And, John, you want it? Okay, I'll fucking do it for you. Okay? And I'll do it for me because I'm not like that. What do I you mean? apologize for the 10-minute rant that you have about your daughter i uh your, your son, son. Your son. Your wait son. wait T take uh, two take two uh, okay i apologize <laughs> i apologize for me doing that hmm? but remember i only did it because you did it first there you go like an adult okay? that's a very adult thing to say well that's what it is that's why i apologize because it's uh, it's so stupid i should have never done it uh, right please and don't do the mockery of this <laughs> yeah you're, do you're doing this why jackie martling why are you apologizing right now it's just not a it's not a good thing to do it's not my style i sell governelli am very <laughs> sorry i don't know what he said about him, implying but... that all right now did you talk to him did you know he texted John? me that he's just texting me that's what he wants me to do and i'm gonna okay i i i feel bad i did it all this right, is the I, ultimate I, betrayal, I, Bob. It, it, fuck, man. <laughs> if, Why would you do this to me? If a man can change, uh, who, you know. I, exactly. I, I, <laughs> well said. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> well, you get the point. <laughs> well. This is why pencils have erasers. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So, so can I ask? The question no, is, yeah, is he down for a week? Do we know that? How do we know we, that? What's the deal? We don't know. He didn't say he won't answer me when we were trying to help him. So I don't so how know. How did this what rumor get started then? Because uh, he wasn't live today. I was checking the, I mean, his, his page is still there, but I didn't see him go live. I What's think Joey C was blurting it out in the chat. Oh, Joey like, C. Well, so they I mean, look, we're getting our from, news from Joey C now. Mm -hmm. well, that's we, where I get Very reliable. <laughs> We were in the position of a two week suspension for a animal uh, animal cruelty that never happened. Now, John had the perfect storm of mm -hmm. stuff you don't want on your show. Uh, threats, uh, racist remarks, uh, porn, uh, duty, you know, duty. <laughs> and and it all hit at, at one time. <laughs> and I just so, woke up to that. I was like, it was like, this is the greatest nap I ever taken. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hello. so so now you're telling me that that's a slap on the wrist. Like, I mean, I got to think something had to happen. Uh, and, you know, we were at a two week thing because we already had a community guideline issue. So I think right. if this is his first one, then the week thing is accurate. One week is accurate. All Dude. right. So we're we're all making this up. It's. Complete yeah, we're a, none of us know. Well, that Joey C told me that. <laughs> Joey C. I mean, that's where I get my news. Well, there All was right. supposed to be a competing show at this time. Is there one? I, I don't yeah. even know. 
Yes, the potato was supposed to have John on his channel, but then it got canceled. Oh, no. The potato. Hold on. Are you in the potato work, having a work? This is the work. Everything's at work, what John. Going right. with you this too. is an oh, old man work. luncheon. That's what's happening right now. No, Carter, he's going to let him use his channel because John's channel was uh, dead. Or uh, he can't live stream or something. Well, if he can't live stream, then he's suspended. Like so The good Reverend Sheetstain, $5. Uh, Reverend dropping and dipping on John, causing quite a scene. Got that man, one week strike, wasn't trying to be mean. These poos cannot be chained. It's unwiped. Are you taking credit, sir? I was asking on the BS show this morning if anyone's taking credit for this. Mm. Is it the good Reverend Sheetstain? Is that who's uh, pulling this off? It could be. Anybody's guess? C Mox, Shake, Rattle, and Skull. Oh, yeah. We, uh, I want to go through some of the different names that people came up with for this show because there were some uh, really funny ones. That was a pretty good one, too, I have to say. Uh, AI Ray with five euros. Some comedians actually pick up a pen to write you jokes <laughs> while others just pick on people. It's a battle of wit versus hit comedy. That's right, Ray. Uh, can you do, too, can you do a Ray impression when he talks about how he's a comedian oh, yeah. and he writes jokes? Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I write jokes. I read jokes. You guys don't write jokes. I'm funny. I'm funny, right? I think I'm funny. I'm funny, right? Am I funny? That's I think like I'm funny. A... Am I funny? He's Ray so man. much better than Carter. <laughs> Ray man. <laughs> uh... Autistic Ray. Uh, Pete D, 20 bucks. Tukey! White waffles. Whoa! We got, we got a Tukey head oh in the house. TWO, everybody. Tukey World Order. The Bologna Factory with two Canadian dollars. I've got an edited version if you want to play it. No, it's not funny with the edited version. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Who cares? <laughs> you don't even know what's going on. Right. Yeah. It's just it's blurred out and silent. Like there is no <laughs> editing. <laughs> it's Pasha with two uh pounds, I guess. Good evening, Lady K, Bob, and the dues payer. Good evening to you and thank you <laughs> for <dues> participating. <laughs> Billy needs a cape or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh Neelax forty four, five bucks. If you search Stuttering John in the YouTube search, his channel does not uh, appear. This happens when your channel is suspended. No, it does appear. I checked it today. Am I crazy? Uh, Am I the one that's crazy? Could someone I, please? Mm -hmm. Am I the weird one? Here comes the money. Thanks for Here the super go. chat. Nice. Nice is always a huge supporter. If lucky, Carl will immediately offer the money for another boobs pick from Vic. I don't pay Vic to show her boobs on our Patreon, but I do appreciate it. Uh, thank you, Nice, for the $50 super sticker. That's awesome. And Tampa with a converters. What is this hack pack feedback? That's not bad. Uh, <laughs> hell? That's pretty uh, good. First, the great hack a hack a hack a hack a. Uh, <laughs> this is just the Tukey show. Why, why are we even here? Tukey! Uh, white Waffle! <laughs> yeah. PD, $10. Tukey, White Waffle, TW. Tukey World Order. T-W-O. We're taking over. All right. All right, so this is a different style show. We're not playing clips. We're not reacting to clips. I want to get into, we're all experts now on Stuttering John because we watched so many hours of his show. Yeah. Whether we want to or not. Whether we want to or not, we know so much about him. Where does he go from here? What's his next move? Let's assume that he is on a suspension for a week. He comes back with a vengeance. What's he going to do? What's his next month, six months? What's the plan up to Rochester, the live show on March 10th? I'll start with you, Shuli. What do you think? I mean, I think we all know what his next move is. The question is, who will be his next target? Uh, who is he going to blame for this? Obviously, the blame will not fall on him. Uh, none of it. So he's going to have to put somebody in the crosshair. So the question I say is, uh, who is going to be responsible? We know Bob was responsible for getting him fired. Uh, well, I was responsible for this, he said in the email, too. Oh, for oh. real? Oh, yeah, you're... yeah. Oh, so he doesn't he know goes, about I heard it. Now. He goes, <laughs> I heard it was you. I heard it was you. I heard it was you. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I mean, look, I, I think I think it's either going to be me uh, or you that are going to be held responsible for this. But I guess my, my point is not so much the short term, but more the long term, because I got the I sense that John wanted to do something bigger and better than just react to the dabble verse. Yeah. And so he was teaching for eight months and he took himself out of the limelight and stopped being on the internet. Well, he was definitely on the internet as we found mm -hmm. out that whole time. 
but is this what he's going to do now? Is he just going to do, is he, is he Perry Caravello at this point? Is that what's going on with John? What's he going to do? Bob, what do you think? He'll never be that good. What he's going to do is he's going to come back since he doesn't trust anyone. He goes, now I will do it by myself from now on because I don't need anybody because he's the greatest entertainer out mm -hmm. there and everybody wants to be him. So I think it'll be him by himself now and he'll come up with some show ideas. What kind of show ideas do you think he'll like to elite Tuesday just... and uh, <laughs> okay. look so, back so Monday? So just keep doing what he's doing. It's what yeah, he's doing. yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Tukey, what do you think? What, what's he going to do next? Yes, yeah, similar to what your grandma said, Carl. I do believe that he'll just continue <laughs> to do the same things, but make up new titles. Possibly Tukey Tuesdays now. Whoa, oh, that would oh, be fantastic. <laughs> you wish, buddy. <laughs> Producer yeah, that, that, that oh, fire, that fire and passion you talk about, that's right. so many cores ago, dude. That that yeah. that guy is content with just doing this because he doesn't have to do anything else. Yeah, but will the money dry up because his show is so repetitive? He's got nothing to talk about. He's really bad at this. Well, the show that we're gonna do, I, I mean, that he's going hey. to do. When, <laughs> I didn't mean to whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, <laughs> Son of a bitch. Damn. I mean, you're saying the money drying up as if he's as if he's raking it in with what <laughs> no, he's I'm doing not. now. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, of course it's going to guys at up. home. He's reacting to fake super chats right now. He's just like, oh, I guess you're right. Yeah, he's he's missing it. He's he's reading insults to himself. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go back to old insults and read those. Yeah. <laughs> Alexander Armstrong, five bucks. He announced it on his Patreon today that he's been suspended for a week. Oh, okay. so it's true. Mm -hmm. it is true all right well hey look at us with wild speculation actually getting it right that's did he do a happened. video from his bed to tell people that's a good question i always love those yeah well no now way. the real question is why didn't he go through with cardiff today on cardiff's channel what changed mm. that's that's a question for tukey not sure okay. uh -huh. uh, I think he's taking uh, a break now he wants yeah. to take a break he's taking oh. a break Oh, uh, yeah. oh, you're not sure, but you know he wants to take a break, huh? Interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting. The good mm -hmm. Reverend Sheetstain follows up another two, doc two boxes. That's a uh, third time I pooed on him in 30 days. Powerful turds. Wow. 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 That is impressive. And then uh, Nipsey Russell, $5. All of SJ's videos from the past year are now gone. Is that true? It wasn't an hour ago. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. It, really? Well, now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking right now at his channel. The only videos under live is a year ago under videos. John, I'm in. I'm in, John. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you saying? What did you say, Shuli? It's or all out. Shit -wayer? What did you it's, say? It's all gone. It's all, it's all yeah, those oh, videos wow. are removed. John, they're onto us. <laughs> he's, he's doing it again. <laughs> Uh, what? Tukey, what? Tukey for Tukey, five bucks. Here for Tukey, staying for the scat clip. Ew. Also, I'm assuming Whoa. the finger on the screen is meant to look phallic. Loving it. T-W-O. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, Mac Boo, T-W-O. And then Cardiff coming in with an F-P-L. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Out of here. Keep him the Shot fuck fired. out of here. It's over. You <laughs> fucked up, Tukey. Okay, with the abortion thing, fuck you. <laughs> Oh, Tukey's Jeez. obliterated cervix. Tukey, mm -hmm. friend till the end in a See? Berlin bunker. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> You're attracting the wrong people, sir. I have to tell you. <laughs> Truly ignore uh, all this. <laughs> rickest, the Rickest Rick says, meet the depressed. Yeah, that was the one on the BS show this morning that we all enjoyed. That was great. I didn't think it captured anything about stuttering John that uh, that made sense for it. Uh, Lockie McDonald, two bucks. <laughs> Welcome to Chewing the Shit with Joni Goldstein. Love that. <laughs> Very good. And then uh, Ghost of Mr. P got bit by Airy Jane's busted teeth. So if your name's that long, you got to give me more than two bucks. That's too many words. Just to it. Tukey, did you bang SJ Transformer? Who was the man? No. I don't understand. Bob, apologize for that. Bob. No. Hey, like David Chandler coming in. Here comes the money. Here we go. Thanks for the super chat. There's David Chandler, Gandhi, Jesus, and Abraham Lincoln. David fits right in with this group. Gandhi and Abraham. Uh, David Chandler with 50 bucks says, stop object objectifying Vic, but please ask her nicely. I could probably mm -hmm. do that. I could probably make that happen. Uh, 
Can you confirm I didn't link from Melton or Shuli? Oh, can confirm I didn't link. Well, oh. then where did you get the link then? Good yeah. Morning, sheet stain. Where did you get the link if that really was? Uh, Joey C. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it was Joey C. Joey C just texted me, by the way. He said, will you ask Carla why I can't send a super chat? Because he got because no money. I was going to say, yeah, because his bank account's at zero. Oh, all right. <laughs> tell him. YouTube doesn't take EBT yet. <laughs> he says, because you have no money. Okay. <laughs> oh, <great. laughs> I've, I've, I have a new powerful enemy. Yeah. All right. So this is the, uh, the question I have for you guys. It's already alluded to this. John claims he has a new mole inside the Shuli network. He's I got to go eat up the my inside. tea. <laughs> Get, oh, over oh, Get over okay. here. Get over here. Do something. You just okay. made a tea. Yeah. So, <laughs> Tukey's not inside the Shuli network. <laughs> oh, he said inside the Shuli network. Yeah, yes. yeah. So he's got all multiple right. moles all over the place. Apparently, you don't know where Tukey is. Mm -hmm. That's right. So this right. is the thing about John that I find hilarious, and I find a lot of things about him hilarious. Is mm -hmm. that he keeps trying the same shit? I think I said this the other day. <laughs> Where I'm like, the guy went 0 and 16. He still has the same playbook out. He's just like, let's <laughs> let's run this play again. It's like you've lost every fucking game you played last season. Why are you running the same playbook? Talk about having a mole. He did that with the Howard Stern show. He's always lying about this stuff, but he wants to scare people. Be like, all right, from now on in the meetings, we can't talk about certain John because one of you guys is a mole. I'm you know, I'm all nervous about it. Imagine his poker playing days. How easy it would have been. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is definitely not pocket twos. I can tell you that. <laughs> well, I mean, look, he's he's literally saying to me, I have a mole in your organization. When I was working at Stern, he was saying that I was his mole right. at the organization. <laughs> Neither of these are true, but he's going to keep trying it. So, I mean, he's that's just the magic that is John. And the other thing he does is he talks about how he has an attorney. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's Power yeah. and this is the thing, something that he did many times before, never scared anyone ever. He does these things that would scare him, yeah. <laughs> so he thinks it will scare other people. He's like, Powerful attorney, oh no, <laughs> stretches out his collar, has to buy a new shirt. Also, if you have a mole somewhere, sh should you announce it? <laughs> That's a really yeah. good point. Why not just give the info? Could you imagine if the U.S. government was just like, By the way, we got some guys working inside Russia right now, oh, they, they'll be fooled. Yeah. Hey, shh, everybody. <laughs> Yeah. We're not going to name any names. But. It's literally what the bad guy tries to do in every Mission Impossible movie is is reveal <laughs> all the moles all over the, the country. So and, and it's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Uh, Hot Body 1330s. Remember, for two months, John for sure will be buying a gun and final move will be going Stephen Paddock on everyone he sees. It's crazier and crazier each stream. And now, well, hold on, sir. I mean, mm. let's, what? Let's not get crazy. Well, thank God I'm on the inside with him now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. It's time, to, time to buddy up with him. Yeah, ask John what I. Will, <laughs> me and Vinny will, and uh, John will be doing the show. What the only one's oh, going to be left? You, Vinny, and Cardiff. I can see yeah. it now. <laughs> oh, fuck him. <laughs> All right, that's right. I forgot you guys can't keep up. Be dads or two bucks. Tukey, don't trust these Shuli's white waffles. T W L. Enough. Enough with the white. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Caution, five bucks. The Three Stooges are back here with Puppet and Headphones Guy. P.S. Don't read this. <laughs> I always love the, I love the people who send in things and then at the very end it says, don't read my name. Like, oh, we got to put that first, dummy. Uh, Anthony comes in with five bucks. Can I get a TWO drop? Uh, World Order. T.W.O. F Bob Levy pool scam slash oven scam slash moist scam. <laughs> Tukey for life. Hashtag yeah. Bob Caravello. That chicken was great. Hey Carl, I it just texted me. I just yeah. texted you John's thing from Patreon. It's a it's a he wrote a, a whole thing out on Patreon. So I just right. sent it to you. Excellent. Uh, Carl, what do you think about this? It, at near the end of this, if we if John wanted to come on, would you be up to that or no? Is it way past that? If John wanted to come on this? Yeah. No, that's not, that's not what yeah. this is. All right. I tried, John. I mean. <laughs> I, I, I know John wouldn't come on to this. He does not want to talk to Shuli. He's very afraid of Shuli. He runs every time <laughs> Shuli's anywhere near him. Bizarre. 
Uh, also, just a quick update. Joey C wanted me to tell you to fuck off. Um, <laughs> oh, come on, Joey C. <laughs> yeah. um, if he is trying to super chat me, though, and if he just wants to, um, I can give him my, my address. He can mail me a check. You know, we can figure <laughs> it out. I don't know if that's the smartest approach, but yeah. <laughs> Hudson Margera with five bucks says, I was going to send a few super chats to John today, but for some reason he's not on. So I'll send them to you and said Tukey for life. Yes. Tukey is the, uh, the star of the show. All right. Yeah. So you sent this over to me. Let me read this. As you may have heard, dot, dot, dot is the title of this post. <laughs> <laughs> I am but one man. <laughs> that piano music. We're off to a good start already. I'm one right. man against an army. <laughs> Some racist asshole infiltrated my show. <laughs> infiltrated my show. You mean got the link <laughs> that uh -huh. sent out to tons of people? He crawled oh, through enemy lines. <laughs> <laughs> a professional <laughs> hacker. <laughs> <laughs> Some racist asshole infiltrated my show pretending to be Dabble Storian and then showed a butthole while screaming racist, vile things. Okay, the grammar is so yeah, off. Yeah, there's a comma this. before things. Yeah, it's like vile, comma, things, comma, <laughs> and I couldn't remove him fast enough. And I wouldn't even talk about this, but he tells everyone that their grammar yeah. sucks. They don't know how to write. And if you're spell. typing everything out, why do you need ampersand? <laughs> I know, he's so stupid. Oh, this is a fun word right here. Uh, I couldn't move fast enough. Thusly, YouTube has suspended my account. <laughs> Thusly. Uh, <laughs> Ipso fatso. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm over this constant attack on my family, my job, my stand-up gigs, and my way to make a living and support my family. I'm so over. I'm sorry. I'm so over this constant attack. That's interesting because I was watching him the other day. Someone asked him about this very show that we're doing right now. Mm -hmm. And he goes, let him talk about me. I don't care. What happened to the, he's going to sue us for cyberbullying. And he's a disabled man. What happened Cyber to that bully. Thing? He's not a five-year-old girl. <laughs> uh, when things are going his way and he's hammered with his buddies. Yeah. Uh, like when we were watching in Detroit, that's great. He'll take the super chats. It's not toxic. As soon as it's not, it's toxic. I'm out of this toxic mm -hmm. environment yeah, right. yeah. again. All right, let me get through this. All right, so I'm so over the, this constant attack on my family, my job, my stand-up gigs, and my way to make a living and support my family. Like, he's saying the same thing over and over again. Uh, you have an ass like Patrick Melton finding it hilarious as he gleefully posted on Reddit. Oh, my God, the episode yesterday, John was like, I like this Patrick Melton guy. I'm going to get him on my show. So they would have his email oh, wow. address. And now he's mad at, at Fatty Patty already? That didn't last very long. I was hoping they would team up. Uh, this, oh, and let me point this out because this sentence, you have an ass like Patrick Melton finding it hilarious as he gleefully posted on Reddit. Wasn't John celebrating when you guys got taken off of YouTube? Oh, he Surely. had those, those yeah. party blowers and he couldn't get a sound out of, out of all of them. Yeah. He tried like five <laughs> of them. Right. None of them yeah. worked. And, uh, right. yeah, of course he was celebrating. They were all celebrating. Isn't that yeah. funny? We and, reached and now, out to him. We legit reached out to him. Bob wrote to him in an email because they talked, yeah. and we'll get to the bottom Dearest of that. John, yeah. we've heard the war has gotten you. <laughs> we, <laughs> and we said we have a contact there at YouTube. We'd like to help you get your channel back up. Mm -hmm. and, and then he wrote back, I know it was you. That's what he wrote back. So. Oh, okay. I heard it was yeah. you, he said. I heard yeah. it. <laughs> well, then it must be true. Same thing. Yeah. 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 He says, uh, this hatred continues and is viewed acceptable by Lazy K, the shit wear, and the rest of these loser trolls. So <laughs> it's interesting to me that someone pranks John, his YouTube channel goes down, and it's my fault. <laughs> the fuck did <laughs> I do? Well, now you're Lazy K because you're not doing anything about it. <laughs> is that what it right. is? How okay. dare you, sir? My third right. podcast today. How dare you? Yeah, you said nothing about it. You should be talking about it to get him back. He right. wants you to answer for everything that goes on. All right, hold on. Let me call YouTube. Give me a second, guys. Let me go just... ahead. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. I don't know uh, about you guys, but anyone who can use the word butthole in a serious press statement has my sympathy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good point. You encourage this, Carl. A serious press statement. <laughs> what? He's a famous celebrity. He has to let the fans know what is going on. That's true. And he did use the word yeah. thusly. So there's that. Thusly. Uh, keep in mind, when I interviewed celebrities for Stern, I did it as me. I was not anonymous. Mm -hmm. It was my face, 
my voice, and the next day we played it, and everyone knew it was me. John used to wear wigs and shit. Yeah, yeah. The <laughs> he used to disguise himself. Yeah, yeah mustache and shit. Because so, that's so famous, true. you forget to say yeah, that part, Carl. <laughs> hey, what if what if this happened? He put that tape together to get sympathy from everyone, and that was him with a wig taking his shit. Who did it? Would say, <laughs> wow, wow. That was like him a- taking the shit. Yeah, wow. he had a wig on. He just got his asshole waxed. That's amazing. <laughs> Well, he I'm took just a little saying too it, long it, to take it down. He's yeah. like, oh, where's this going? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He didn't realize he had such a nice ass. Yeah. Well, you know what? We're going to have to get his mom involved because nobody else is going to be able to ID that uh, oh, better than yeah. a mom, you know? Well, yeah. let's talk to her on Christmas morning. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys doing at 3.30 a.m.? <laughs> well, he's the best. Well, he's the best. All right. Let me finish this up. These people are cowards, comma, and... <laughs> For shows to support this behavior is vile in its own right. Oh, look Look who's not in support of being taken down all of a sudden. Isn't that hilarious? I wow. Mean, I feel like this is a little bit of hypocrisy. I <laughs> call it crazy. Bit. It seems hypocritical. It's that kind of. All right. Thank you for your support. Tomorrow, I'll post the edited show from yesterday only on here. Best John. It's on Facebook. We're all watching it. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Why does no it take best. you two days to clip off the end? <laughs> Right. <laughs> Nobody's looking for the edited version of that show, by the no. way. <laughs> uh, how's it feel to be outshined by a puppet? TWO mm-hmm. Clay Dabbler. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How dare you, sir? Leave that question for all harder. of us. I think so. John Thompson, two bucks. The strike is over. Where's John's A-listers? Yeah. Uh, there was um, a really funny video. So you guys know how uh, Stutt Joe's Fair Use Baloney Factory is mm-hmm. taking Carl from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. John's talking about how he's trying to get um Jack Tenacious Black. D. Tenacious, yeah, Tenacious D. D. Yeah. yeah, the show he's like, yeah, so I was talking to Jack Black's management. You know, they're on tool right now. Otherwise, I'm, I'm sure they can't wait to get on the stuttering John show. Also, when you're on the road in a band, you have nothing but downtime. Well, yeah. they're not it's even literally you work two hours a day. That's it. But we checked. They're not on tour. When he <laughs> told them that, we went, we went right to the website and looked. They had no dates, you know, unless they're opening for somebody. They're not promoting it. They're Wizard. planning a whole tour to ignore John. <laughs> <laughs> it starts Don't now. Don't focus anywhere. Get us out of here. Wizard Duck 2 for five bucks. When will it be enough John content? Aren't you all sick of looking at his ugly face and hearing his voice every day? Not really. I know. You would would think I would be at this point, but holy shit. Thanks for the $5. (laughs) We're not sick of it yet. Oliver Hernandez is a member for two months. Thank you. Uh Maybe SJ removed a full years of video because he wants to be a substitute again. Mm. Well, that is why I asked the question. Where does he go from here? Does Mm. he get a real job? Does he take himself out of the dabble verse again? No one yeah, on this cut. panel thinks no one on this panel think that's gonna happen. Oh god. The show yesterday, he goes, I think I look pretty good for my age. Oh. Uh. You look terrible for any age. What are you talking about? <laughs> he might be going back to teaching because he got a new shirt. Remember the new shirt he that's got? That's true. How could I smell yeah. bad? I bought a new shirt. <laughs> Tom, two bucks. I constantly say to myself, hey dudes, pay ya. Who's pay y'all? <laughs> I say it to the dogs all day. It's fucking crazy in this. Uh, Brian Johnson will be on WATP tomorrow yeah. with me. Nice. Tuki nice. is eighty-eight times better Stop than it. any other Muppet. Stop it! <laughs> wow! <laughs> no, oh, Brian, that's good. Tuki does not be colored. J O J O Crane, five bucks. Congratulations to Shuli on the SW merch conversion. Great branding. <laughs> Curl should be proud. <laughs> I, I got to tell you guys. So I'm watching John talk about his new merchandise. Yeah. And so he's got the S from the Shuli network and then the W is a shit wear. Mm-hmm. And he, he called it the stink lines smell things. Smelly <laughs> you got, things. Yeah. You got the smell things on here. <laughs> <laughs> What are you fucking you get over so this? <laughs> well, they got the stink lines and everything. <laughs> so and then dumb. they had on uh, Dabblers, somebody posted a clip of him. He posts a picture, and this was his sales pitch. He goes, there you go. Have at it. Have at it. No website. No link. There. Go. Uh, there. Go. Run free. Get it. <laughs> 
Uh, uh, oh, this is the other thing too with his, the merchandise. Right. He goes, um, all right, so this is all the new shirts. And I'll tell you what, I will sign your shirt. I will autograph your shirt. You just have to order it and then mail it to me. <laughs> and then what I'll the sign fuck? It, and then I'll mail it back. I'm like, Jesus Christ, John. It's a four-step process. Why? <laughs> He's amazing. Oh, Joey C. just texted me. He has both your addresses, so don't worry about it. <laughs> he probably does. Yeah. Does Joey C. have both his feet? <laughs> did joey lose him to the sugars he no, has yeah. one he has one coca-cola has the other i believe <laughs> attack on timmy 19 five bucks shuli was the original mole what makes you think shuli isn't the mole exactly. i could eat bob's chicken for hours thank you that yeah. would be interesting if, if shuli was the mole of the shuli network uh radish diff with two euros did you send my jingle to bill yet hope so FJC. Jesus Christ. What did he do? <laughs> oh, wow. Your people would so be. close. The, Christmas. The, uh, the good reverend sheet stain two box. I dedicate my deeds to the Tuki Talibam Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. This is getting over my head. Hey, oh, there here he is. is. Joey C. Oh, God. Wow. What a, what a round table. Old man, Bob, a puppet, a fake Joey C. Some guy, no one knows. And Carla have fun. Lamb watching. <laughs> 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 okay. Lamb watching. I, I think it's, I think it says I am watching, but it's, there's no space. Uh, I love it. Yeah. Uh, Nelson Johnson's attorney. <laughs> John. <laughs> John 101, <laughs> divide courageous trust and conquer. Yeah. <laughs> He's killing it as usual. A powerful, <laughs> attorney, a powerful attorney is here in the chat. We need, we need to talk afterwards. Oh my I'm God. Retainer by the very wealthy stuttering John. I'm sure you are. Uh, Dodd Two Box, doesn't John have moles on his pin? Oh. No. On my glands. <laughs> Mongo coming in with 20 bucks. My mole in the town of Rockridge says the sheriff is near. <laughs> God damn it, Mongo. <laughs> That's great. Franklin Sheckler, five bucks. Give us a show with just Tukey and Bob learning how to read, how to smuggle salt from Pennsylvania, how to cook chicken. Yay, Tukey. Yeah. That, that fucking uh, potato would fuck it up. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. He always does. He's jealous. Uh, Ricky Bab, two bucks. John makes threats you've heard on a playground. Yeah. I know. He's, he's a child. John is a child. That's what's fun about him. Graham Murphy, two bucks. Let's buy John that big toe adapter <laughs> for his shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny if they sell those. Yeah, on Amazon. <laughs> Can you have it here tonight? Let's yeah. fucking, fucking have it here tonight. Adapter. <laughs> <laughs> Don two bucks. Get Gina Bobina on with Shuli and John might agree. Two. Uh, three, Coming on the show here is that what he's oh, saying? He he he's smitten yeah. with Gina Bobina. Yeah. Oh, John is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's very he's very into her. Well, how John could you Russo. not? It's a it's a picture of a woman. How could you not be? <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes. John Russo, ten bucks. K, Vince the lawyer says he's going to rent your Florida home and let John stay there for a week. Yeah, I, I know. I was on the show this morning when he wrote that. What Why? So he can you? have furniture in the house? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's going to rent it out so he can podcast from somewhere that actually has equipment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's lights in here? Oh, that's fault. <laughs> he's got it all. What's Why that wet thing in the yard? <laughs> <laughs> he's throwing paper towel into it. <laughs> I took care of the puddle. <laughs> All right, sorry. Let's start again. <laughs> K. Vince the lawyer says he's going to rent out your Florida home and let John stay there for a week. What say you? Also, please review a horrible broad podcast called Diet Starts Tomorrow. Kumio oh. wins. Oh yeah, Johnny Russo. I know John. Um, Diet Starts Tomorrow. Are you writing that down? All right, we'll check that out. Thank you. That sounds. That's got to. It sounds awful. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably fat chicks. Which is, I guess. <laughs> Probably fat chicks eating on Mike, which is always yeah. <laughs> Mike Morse's pork chop sideburns, two bucks. <laughs> Can you believe SJ still has yesterday's pod on Facebook? No, it's insane. It's <laughs> the dumbest guy ever. Uh, Hicks Pasha with two pounds. Sending some love for Chris. Where's Chad and KB? I don't know. 
wasn't my turn to watch them. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> King. Either with anyone else in here. <laughs> King of all dabblers, five bucks. Didn't John celebrate with party hats and noisemakers when TSN was suspended? Yes. Correct. Yeah. That's why he's a hypocrite. <laughs> yeah. We need, we need to call like some type of authority on hypocrites, like a like a hypocrite police or something. Yeah. I'll get back to you. I, I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah. If only there was such a thing, Carl. If only. Yeah. <laughs> if only there was a hypocrisy police. Bob's forgetting <laughs> jacket, 10 bucks. What? You need to get someone who has no idea about the dabble verse and have him watch the Stuttering John show. I tried to watch it without knowing who you all are. <clears throat> he sounds like a rambling vagrant. Yeah. Actually, he is. A no, he, he is one. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely what it is right now. My lost interest two bucks. Get Vinny P on the show for SJ Cuck Counterpoint. We talked about that today. We did a bonus show for the creep off today, and I'm like, Vinny, you obviously can't come on the show because you're buddies with Sunday Giants. Like, well, can I be on there for Counterpoint? It's like, no, that's not what we do here. <laughs> this is point devil point. Yeah, yeah. all devil points. Write it in the chat, Vinny. That's right. For five, <laughs> for five bucks, I might read it. A powerful attorney, another five dollars. Oh, he's got a lot of money too. This is all slander against my client. You have both ceased and desisted. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is like one of John's political shows. He never has the opposing point yeah, on. Right. Right. We have to, you know, credit him with this show format. Yeah. Who would want to get challenged on on their takes no. on things? So what's the point of that? It's no fun. No. People might find out I'm an idiot. Attack on Timmy. Nineteen five bucks. What was he supposed to do? Preview the video? He's the talent. And by talent, I mean failure. <laughs> no, I think part of the thing is like having a conversation with the person before you send them the link, maybe, uh, and just say, hey, if I send you the link at some point today, would you be interested in coming on? So that way you're just not sending it to somebody, especially someone who's never been on your show, who, you, who you've never worked with. And, yeah. you know, it's... I mean, fuck, you might as well just post it on social media and see. Well, what, what about right. just saying, hey, can you come on my show first? And when they say no, you don't send a link. And yeah, the other thing, but... too, is you could not fall for the terrible impression of Dabble oh, Storian on there. Because the same thing happened when I think it was Corndiff was pretending to be Cardiff. Yeah. <laughs> and it just... OJ. OJ. Oh, it was oh, OJ. It was OJ. That's right. Yeah. And and he was fooled by this. And it didn't sound anything like Cardiff, but it had the same filter. So Josh was like, well, yeah, of course it's Cardiff. <laughs> right. <laughs> Fucking moron why are you so stupid he's got a cold <laughs> some people are calling yesterday a worse day in american history than uh january 6th do you know where you were when that happened when john got porn bombed because tukey does <laughs> where were you tukey how do you remember was this at day? the drive through of carl's jr and did not turn his radio down oh <laughs> they no. always saw you post that oh. yes <laughs> and i'm pretty convinced that they spit in my food yeah. So I'm going to have a reputable evil attorney on be dabbling live tomorrow to see if I have a case against yes. John and Carl's Jr. I like it. <laughs> you should have just been like, I hate this rap song. I'm going to turn this off. No, yeah. there's no way. <laughs> there's no explanation. But I could tell by the way they answered the rest of my you know, visit. They, they heard it. Yep, they definitely heard it. So, Tuki, you have a theory, and I think you're spot on with this theory. Oh, thank you. That uh, Stuttering John and a lot of guys that we talk about in the dabble verse, Chad Zuma comes to mind, not Kevin Brennan, but definitely Chad and John. They want so desperately to have friends. Mm -hmm. They don't seem to have friends. And so it's so, they're so quick. Like I heard Joey C mention on the BS show that him and John have these long phone conversations. <laughs> He's talking to Vinny now all the time. He wanted to be my buddy even though I've been ragging on him for five years straight, all of a sudden he gets my phone number and now we're BFFs. So what is that, Tukey? What are, why are all these grown men trying to be friends with everyone? I don't know, but it's there. You can tell. Even Monday when Chad was back with KB, he was a totally mm -hmm. different Chad. He's like a little boy. He treats Kevin like his daddy. They want friends or daddies. Starting yeah. to be a daddy thing, too. And John always looked at Howard as his daddy, he kind of looks at Kevin the same way as his daddy takes on their personas. It's bizarre. I think you're right about How that. How many daddies when... does he have? So many daddies. <laughs> <laughs> and even when, uh, when he was talking about Patrick Melton yesterday mm -hmm. and he was playing the clips of Melton calling out Shuley, so that makes Melton great. 
But even when he was doing that, he just he seemed like he wanted Patrick to be his friend. All of a sudden, like he's ready to buddy up with anyone who will have him. Anybody well, who will I listen mean, to his resume. Well, right, yes. Yeah, and Bob, you know, started off the show by sucking John. I mean, by apologizing to John. And uh and and look, before <laughs> before he apologized, uh John uh, Bob was public enemy number one to John. He right. got him fired. Bad, man. He did he did a yeah. ten minute rant about his kid. Bob I, I, was Amen. Was persona non grata until he saw that Bob quit the uh, BS show and immediately sent him a link to come on his show. So there is something weird about this because when John first came back to the internet on MLC, him and Bob, I mean, you guys had a very civil conversation that whole time. You guys were on that show together. But for yeah. whatever reason, with Sh and, and John was ready to do a show with me, but with Shuli. John cannot have a normal conversation. He can't even be in the same room with him. He doesn't know what he's going to do. If he says, well, a lot of why people can't, that? but it's bullshit. <laughs> you know? I said it's it's just a primal instinct people have uh, towards me. But also, he can't also give you a reason why. That's the thing. Ask him. Ask him what I did. Forget Uncle Rico, because he hated me before Uncle Rico. You know that. Right. So yeah. what did I do in the first place? You know, that... He can't address. He's oh. just uh, mm -hmm. a I don't know sick if you saw man. This. Shuli yesterday. He's what? on his show, and someone mentions you're going to be in Vegas. Yeah. He, he didn't realize that all the other people who used to work at Stern are invited to Roddy's wedding, just not him. So, yeah. Oh, he's, he's one of the ones who's allowed. Like, yeah. Anyway, so he goes, if anyone knows where Shuli's going to be in Vegas, let me know. I need to know where he's going to be. I have my reasons. I have my reasons. <laughs> Did you hear him say, say this? Did anyone tell you about this? He's like a broke Liam Neeson. I have no skills. <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't know what he was talking about. I don't know what he thought he was going to do. Well, follow me on the gram, John. I'll show you where I'm at. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> Penis wrinkle 12, two bucks. Can we start calling John the shit player? Oh, shit player. That makes sense. <laughs> I'll have hats at my merch store by tomorrow. <laughs> and if you want an autograph, just ship them back to me and then... I can't yeah. wait to Shuli checks in and he's like, you're not the bell boy. And the guy's like, yeah, you're <laughs> damn right. John sent me. <laughs> That's hilarious. Why is this bellman walking with a cane? Yeah, I don't right. Understand. <laughs> Holy shit. That's another hey. fucking thing that happened where someone asked him, John, how are you going to handle all the trolls when you come to Rochester, the comedy at the Carlson? And yeah, he goes, I'm going to have Hitman Dan with me. And if anyone gets out of someone line, else, a mystery. Yeah. It's someone else. He's, he has, he's going to beat everyone up. Yeah. What? His sister. <laughs> yeah, that's what he friends. needs, his sister. I like yeah. that he's, tre he's treating the show like a flight. There'll be an undercover air marshal walking through the room <laughs> yeah. throughout the entire show. Uh, Mason in Portland, $5. This is like the scene in the Warriors where Cyrus yes. gathers all the gangs for a summit. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. What a movie. Uh, that's that's pretty good uh, observation right there. Yeah, I can dig it. Uh, Ghost of Mr. P got bit by Harry Jane's busted teeth. Oh, no. Two bucks. No, we didn't. Tukey, did no. you help Chad push his brother no. allegedly? Allegedly. No. Well, allegedly. But Tukey's no. Tukey's like 16 years old. He wasn't around for that. <laughs> Arthur Jackson, five bucks. Did stuttering jerk buy two of the same shirt for teaching? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> he always gets two of the same shirts. It's the stupidest thing ever. <gasps> My sister-in-law made me those uh, Federal Bureau of Hypocrisy. She made me mm. that shirt. She made me two of them. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's funny, but... She goes the extra mile. <laughs> she really does. I thought it'd be funny if I made you two. I'm like, all right. Pete D, five dollars. Tukey, are they paying you three thousand dollars for this show? Yes, yes, they are. My Big day Daddy, rate. Big Daddy Dodo, five bucks. Any chance we can get producer Chris to run his fingers through his hair like John does? Hey, shit player. <laughs> 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 He's such a pretty lady, John. Oh. He is. He does his hair. Tukey sounds a lot like Jason Kaplan. Says no, I'm not Jason. Hero. No, I'm not Jason. <laughs> you ever heard, that one. You ever heard mm -hmm. Jason Kaplan say something funny? It's obviously not exactly. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Melton's Melton has SG's messages to him on X. Oh. Oh. That's interesting. 
Oh, well, Melton's. Uh, I, I was. I wanted to ask you guys if you thought Patrick was going to go on a show. Obviously, now we know it's not going to happen. Oh. But I can't imagine that Patrick Melton is going to go on Stuttering John's show at any point. No, he, he, to goof uh, on him. he doesn't he, have he, interest in Stuttering John. Yeah, he's yeah. never been interested in John. And, and right. That isn't going to change now. That's for sure. Kevin T, two pounds. Oh, hey guys. Thusly, I just had ten gin and tonics. He <laughs> 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 sounds so much more intelligent when you. Put it that way. Uh, Derek Tubox, I loved how Estee showed his Indian food containers. Oh, uh, I, I want to talk to you guys about his birthday. <laughs> so yeah. So his, bu- his buddy Brian goes, oh, what are you doing for your birthday today? And all he could tell you is what he's not doing. His youngest son blew him off. <laughs> oh, <that's, laughs> I was going to go out my youngest son, but yeah, you know, he's yeah. got school. School at night. <laughs> School at 8 p.m. Yeah, makes <laughs> nothing but sense. And then he was talking about like what his other yeah. kids are doing and why he couldn't hang out with them. It's just like, no, the question is, what are you doing? Yeah. And the answer is, because I found out the next day when he did a show, ordering Indian food takeout and getting drunk on the couch. Oh, man. Jeez. <laughs> uh, That's a, a happy great, birthday. Oh, not Ooh. a great birthday. <laughs> what a guy. I mean, to think that porn bomb was the best part of his day, it sounds like, you <laughs> yeah, know? It's the most active. <laughs> oh. uh, Mike Cuts, two bucks. We have 1,300 people watching and only 600 watching. MLC FKB. I'll drink Bye, that. Hi, Brennan. Uh. I see everyone's, that jingle, everyone's singing it everywhere I look. It's, uh, there's a reason why advertising works, people. What can I tell you? Uh, G Rob, two bucks. Joey C, please unblock me. I think you made a mistake. <laughs> okay, yeah. Phil Elmore, oh. two bucks. Ah, it's four ha. of my favorite people and two. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> Burn. Hell you. Phil will be on this uh, round table discussion <laughs> at some point. Yeah, Phil's sure. great, man. He's great. Enjoy Bucky him while he's here. Why? What are you saying? He just, you know, <laughs> doesn't look long Why? for our world. <laughs> Why? There's so many others in this universe. Hey, oh, Tukey. God, we need a dabbler death pool. Tukey, I, oh. I have uh, good news for you, Tukey, if you're, you have a problem with Phil Elmore. Yeah. So you're coming up to Rochester in March for an event, right? Mm-hmm, you, mm-hmm. Now, you announced you're making that trip. Uh, Phil does not live far oh. from, uh, from the comedy club. So Fantastic. Maybe uh, a certain Mexican wrestler can pay him a visit. Wow, fuck yeah, Dox's his ass, Carl. I like this angry <laughs> Carl. Yeah. Buck na- I love <laughs> Phil. I just thought that Tukey had a problem. Buck Naked, uh, member for two months, thank you. Curl using Vinny for the ultimate SJ troll job is amazing. Vinny playing his hand perfectly. The two become ultimate kings when it's executed in March. It will be interesting, uh, that's for sure. March is so far away. Oh, it is. It's, an eternity gonna... for <laughs> it's actually <laughs> too far away for this. This is longer but, than when you announced DabbleCon, and that was far away. It, it really It's was. longer yeah, than we said we were going to give them posters, too. It's even longer <laughs> than that. Uh, <laughs> Rochester in March. Ugh. Do you think he's going to make it to the show, Tukey? Chris? Either of you two? I don't know who or... will still be alive in March. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. That's why right. we need a yeah. Dabbler death pool. Yeah, I, might not I love that idea. Yeah. I said it on the BS show this morning. I do think John's going to go through with it because, believe it or not, he's selling some tickets. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so, yeah, I believe it. Yeah, there's money. There. There's money that he'll only get paid if he shows up at Rochester. So I think he's going to show. Did up. they sell over a hundred already? That I don't know. I can find out. I can find that out. I, it I should be know. epic. Uh, Whitney, <laughs> Whitney Chapman, two box between two cardboard boxes would be a good name for. Uh, for John Shaw, I assume is what that <laughs> person means. <laughs> Myrtle coming in with five bucks. That feller with the two. I can't do the Myrtle voice. That feller, that feller with the toothpick looks like my cousin the world. He ain't got no hair neither, but he's a good one. You do it better Thank you, than Myrtle. Dr. Steve does. Holy I know shit. you can't even understand Dr. Steve, but I think that's. <laughs> The charm of Myrtle. I think you're not supposed to understand Myrtle. Uh, I love you, Dr. Steve. Dang Wizard with uh, Five Euro says, to get SJ's merch, send a Venmo and a tweet to explain. He will then send the money to his mom, who will make a wire transfer to Bangladesh. <laughs> <laughs> Easy enough. Easy uh, piece. Photographer. <laughs> Five bucks. Remember when John wanted to watch your cat and house? Yeah. Obviously, he was going to go through your stuff and smell your wife's clothes skull. No, he was going to do your underwear. 
<laughs> I agree. <laughs> oh, which is the toilet that you like to shit in, Carl? <laughs> the big one outside. <laughs> <laughs> Carl wouldn't mind if I just take a piss in the pool. It's not flushing. You can do number one. Hey guys, you can do okay. number one in the pool. Don't do number two. But one number one is okay. Number one's fine. Uh, yeah, they're being pussies about it. Yeah, just number one. Uh, I won't see my security back. deposit back. Uh, uh, the the guy who'd ring up John's Ma at 3 30 Christmas morning is the type of drunk you'd who'd not understand time zones, get drunk and ring his mom. Ring any bells? Oh, you know what? That actually brings me to another point because on his birthday show, he brought in one of the Midas Touch brothers and they haven't been on a show in a very long time. And so he explained that someone faked his email address and sent the guy a note saying, I don't like you, go fuck yourself, mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, I don't know, these trolls, they do this to all my guests, they, they always do this. I'm like, is it possible John gets really drunk and angry and right. sends mean emails to people who haven't done a show in a little while? Because he perceives that as a slight. If you haven't done a show or respond to a tweet when he tags you in it, that's a slight to him. So is it possible that John is the one who's actually sending this email is just like, oh, that was a troll? Mm -hmm. Well, I believe he gets Zumok level hammered. Yes. So he would do Zumok level shit like that. Yes. It makes sense. It makes nothing but sense. And the I like guy that agreed that it was fake. Like the guy, like yeah. how did what did the, yeah yeah wow. he, he's he's like oh yeah yeah I I fell for it I know you sent me this e he goes he goes he sent me this email saying what an asshole I am and I'm like why would I do this guy's show anymore? He said it was because of like the numbers they switched the numbers around or something yeah. like that. And yeah, the guy I, was quick to agree. Yeah, I like Carl's theory at the end of Fight Club where it's just John by himself doing all this shit. The, you know, Brad Pitt never existed. <laughs> the good Reverend Sheetstain, two bucks, may have got link from Marco V one ninety three, but can't confirm. Is uh, is there a wow. mole on John's end? Is it Marco V one ninety three? Yeah, oh, he left. He he left there. He's with he's with us, and he's here now. Uh, there's nothing but moles on John's end. I, I'm I'm in touch with every single person <laughs> that has worked for John over the years. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, Andrea, his moderator, wanted to come on the show today. I told her we're already uh, booked up, but next week I think she's going to come on. Oh. And, uh, yeah, the, everyone who's ever worked with John wants to talk about it. Absolutely. I found the same thing with Opie. When I, when I started goofing on Opie, I was getting notes from producers of the Opie and Anthony show from 1998, <laughs> right again. Wow. Just like, oh, you don't even know, girl. This guy's such an asshole. Wow, this is incredible. Everyone yeah. has the same opinion about a certain person. It's amazing how that works out. Mikey Newport, two bucks, says, I walk past my cats and yell, what's up, dudes, payers? It, <laughs> it is weird, right? Hudson Margera, F. Joey C., a guy nobody knows. You can insult the dues payer, Carl, Carla, the blue cheese eater, or the puppet, but producer Chris is the man. Yeah. Man child, but whatever. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> oh, Marco V193 is here. Uh, so, I'm blocked on every SJ platform. No link here. Okay. So Marco V says he is not the one who did it. Who is the mole? Who did it? This is, get this some is interesting. Tea. This is some caper, <laughs> <laughs> some caper that we have going right now. Uh, Brian and his droogs, five bucks. Holy shit, guys. I'm loving this round table format. Looking forward to many more to come. I knew it would be great, yeah. but, uh, I agree. This is, this is fantastic. The good Reverend sheet staying again. Shh, Marco, I'm trying to throw out. What's that word? Herrings. Herrings. Red, red, red oh, herrings. red herrings. Yeah, I got it. It's like Dang lizard. Fish. Shuli is insane. Who prepares for his show and talks to potential guests beforehand? Put the link in a tweet. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> that is the way to do it. Maybe uh, I'm doing Duke, it wrong. You know? Tuki, I'm going to DJ get it in a second. Uh, mm -hmm. Big Daddy Dodo, I just want to hear Tuki say daddy again. Daddy? <laughs> daddy. Yeah, you, All right, you're going to be you, saying that. Can daddy? you read... Uh, Myrtle again for me, Tuki. Well, I like that Tuki, fella. Hey, Turkey, did y'all see old Myrtle on Mr. Carvelli's show? Hey, he sets this old winter woman's heart to flutter, and he surely does. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> does, does Myrtle do this on your show, Tuki? Yes. Oh, okay. Normally through a voicemail and you can't understand it it's all muddled and <laughs> crap 
Uh, Don, Ray loved Tukey long time. Oh, that was a thing that John was saying too. John goes, well, who would I even get on my show from the Dabbleverse? Oh, Ray DeVito. That guy puts me to sleep. He is very, very <laughs> fucking boring. No, Coors Light puts you to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Every night. <laughs> I just can't believe that he's calling out Ray DeVito for being boring. And he sits there. I, the only guy I've ever seen type with one hand. One oh. finger. He's just, uh, and then every time he's typing something, he has to, uh, yeah. But he's just uh, evil. Well, their finger is damaged. That is true. <laughs> or in his nose. As you can tell from our uh, logo mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. that we made today. It was that woman's fault? How, How long did it take you to make that logo? Well, you know, it's funny. I actually outsourced it. Oh. Surely, yeah. Oh, you okay. totally made it. Yeah, there's certain, <laughs> oh. there's certain people who uh, wanted to help me out with it. They expressed interest. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. it turned out. The, the guy I did a podcast with earlier today, he had some free time this afternoon and helped me out. Making oh. this oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hot, Hot Body 1330, five bucks. Why do they need friends? The old adage, misery loves company. Oh, I've heard that before. Who can forget this? Five bucks. Joey C., you guys only play baseball with you. Fine. I'm taking my rack and buck with me. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something Joey C would say if he was a funny, witty guy. Uh, Big Daddy Dodo, five bucks. Are Bob and John going to start the BJ show? <laughs> hey, come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> at, <laughs> that's, at least... that's too far. Fun is fun, but that's too far. <laughs> at least this would make more sense now. The BJ yes. show. <laughs> oh, he's doing the move. All right, Tukey, I'm sorry, buddy. I've got to call on you again here. Well, this is the craziest swap shop I ever did see. When can I list my items, Mr. Turkey? I got me old crank washer that'll go for a pretty penny. What? What the hell is he talking about? What the hell is he talking about? Uh, John O'Reilly. John O'Reilly with two bucks says, John hates chili because John is an anti-Semite. Wow. Come on, that old song and dance? Yeah. Come on. There's Wait. a lot of reasons to hate chili. Let's... That's uh, not Gar- even on the first five pages. <laughs> right, yeah, I know. I'm German and I'm saying that. I'm like, well, I didn't yeah. even consider that part. <laughs> <laughs> Gar Saxon, five bucks. To my now is Jim Norton is the only person I can think of that has a large scat porn collection. Hmm interesting he, he probably has shit on his chest right now <laughs> <laughs> dirty death two bucks bob definitely has pcl on in one headphone hi to oh come on <laughs> uh, i like that one has to say hi to tukey for some reason hello everybody <laughs> hello boys and girls <laughs> yeah they just want to get a, a hello back it's like when I used to uh, have voicemails, people would call into the show and they'd always end it with call me back. I'm like, well, I'm not going <laughs> to call you That's back. So We're not friends. <laughs> just, you're just leaving a voicemail for a show. Yeah, it's sir. preceded by fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, Bowie Backstabba, five bucks. More than wanting friends, Chad and John forever suffer from the need that everyone acknowledge them as legit talents. They refuse to let that go. Oh, mm-hmm. greed. I think you're onto something there. But the friends thing is important too. Yeah, very important. Brother friends Ted. are fun. Of course. Yeah. T- someone tell Kevin Brennan it's good to have friends. It's okay to have friends. It's, it's how a much good fun thing. we're all having. You're right. I would, but I'm, I'm blocked. Fucking friends. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> Nobody yeah, would listen if he had a friend. Yeah. Brother Ted with five bucks says, "How do we get Royce on this panel, Carl? I asked you about booking Royce at DabbleCon. How do we do this? You know, you're talking about his uh, original co-host, Royce." from the arcade people have reached out to him i don't think he's interested in getting himself back into the Sutter job world mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's like it's it's a tornado coming through and you kind of want to avoid it mm-hmm. probably but that would be great he'd rather pick up quarters from his arcade floor Wait, listen it's like scientology nobody's running back into that fucking building yeah good point <laughs> you know once they're out the, the world is now available to them that's funny Dang lizard with five euros. SJ told us he's the only one who is authentic 
and does not lie more than five times ever. I heard, I heard that oh part too. He's like, he's like, well, yeah, he sometimes you have to lie, like when your wife asks if she looks fat in a dress. <laughs> or you can just have a wife who's not fat. That's, That's the only that. time I don't lie. <laughs> right. Well, actually, there was a show not long ago where somebody asked him, like, legit, like, what happened between you and, and your ex? And he, and he very seriously said, I fell out of love. And I was like, <laughs> wow. I was like, wow. That was crazy. So it was his decision to lose That's all way... his money and his family. Okay. If you say but so. Me but meanwhile, all of a sudden, he tells the story about on his birthday getting the divorce papers, right? Right. So maybe. Like... No, it wasn't divorce papers. I think it was oh, the was... Um, child support. Oh, okay. Or whatever it got was. Yeah. Some bad like news on his birthday. But Something yeah. from his wife. Yeah. Oh, that was the other thing he bragged about. So he's talking about what he did on his birthday and he, you know, ordered Indian food and sat at home. And he goes, and I got a text from an ex girlfriend mm -hmm. Dude. telling me to leave her alone. <laughs> <laughs> it just says new phone, new disc. But I think that's what he, said, <laughs> right? he didn't follow up with anything. No, he didn't follow up with anything. He's he just like, proud of himself. Yes. That's so weird. Perhaps Susanna did not support his dream of being a substitute teacher after the Tonight Show. Mm. Oh, I thought the dream was being an alcoholic. <laughs> no, he the dream. dreamed of being a substitute teacher. So fulfilling. All right. Well, here's a question for, for the group here. Here's a panel discussion starter. John recently went to Vegas and was showing off his new girlfriend. He had photos mm -hmm. with his girlfriend. It was hilarious he's like no one will know who she is then i saw dad was not as immediately people found her profile and whatever. Oh, um, but what the fuck happened with that what was that did he rent a, a family to hang out with for a Maybe. weekend <laughs> what, 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 you guys, does anyone have a thought on this what happened uh, I th I think he legit got her to agree to meet up maybe she saw something in him that she liked and then once the feedback hit the fan which why he posted these pictures, I, I it's beyond me. I don't know. Again, it's something he he hasn't learned by now that uh, posting somebody's picture like that is just going to lead them to try to figure out who they are, where they're at, where they work, all this shit. And my guess is once once she felt that she was like, I'm out. That's it. I don't want any part of this. Well, he posted the picture because he wanted to brag that he was a VIP. Of course, I'm going to brag. Yeah, so do yeah. it without somebody, some family in the fucking photo. Take a picture of no, yourself. Without your girlfriend's <laughs> daughter in it. You don't have yeah. to. Yeah. so fucking weird. Right? And I yeah. met this puppy. <laughs> <laughs> you got fancy bottles of Poland Spring water. Woo. Uh, peanuts. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 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 There's peanuts. Those are very expensive. And somebody in our chat said yesterday, and two forks that he used as a comb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. I, Tuki thinks that, that, that this falls in line with the friends thing. I think these women are just friends of John, but for some reason he wants to brag that he's dating them for some reason. But the women well, are never on board with that. They're always like, no, we're just friends. We're not dating. I, I had the pleasure of talking to Heather W. on the phone multiple times. Nice. I've since blocked her and cut her out of my life because oh. she's crazy. But oh. Heather W. was the one who sent John all that money for a new laptop, like 3000 bucks or something. And I asked her, I'm like, what is this thing with, why are you doing this? She's like, oh, I'm just a huge Howard Stern fan. And so getting to talk to Centering John was just like uh, incredible for me. So I think he finds these like sad, lonely women mm -hmm. who have nothing going on and grew up listening to Howard Stern. And they're just like, oh my God, Centering John's paying attention to me. And then as soon as they find out what he's up to, they're like, all right, well, never mind. That's well, I mean, Think about it. it's a system that works. He was on the radio. He was getting laid, right? So right. he's just going back to what what works. Uh, and now those people are much older, and it's a much sadder uh, thing. <laughs> he's gonna call yeah. him up. I got eight kids what? now. I, got, you know, <laughs> I don't think we should go out. Gout finger, twenty yeah. bucks. Thank you, gout finger. Have you guys all thought about ignoring John for a month? Interesting, interesting to see what happens. Well, not really. Yeah, I my mortgage, you. my mortgage doesn't get paid. That's what happens. I, <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you what happened because John and Chad are the same guy, and uh, we stopped talking about Chad, and then Chad started tweeting out uh, about why why am I not talking about him and shouldn't I be talking about him? And then I did do another video because he went on Alex Stein show and Alex Stein clowned him for an hour straight. 
So I did a video about that, and then Chad emailed me. He's like, you fucking pussy. You fucking bitch. I'm like, okay. So, you know, you can't win with these people. They want the attention, then they get it. They get angry about it. So There will be no Canoga Accord. No, <laughs> no, we're not. Canoga. White Waffle, T-W-O for $2. T-W-O? It's going to drop. It's going to drop. World Order, T. W-O. Clay Dabbler with two pounds. Luz, knock off Mike Morris and invite Cardiff. Hmm? What? So what? What'd you call me? <laughs> yeah, who's knock off Mike Morris? Oh, Mike Morris. <laughs> what the fuck? That's hurtful. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jeez. You're going to take that sit We're all looking around saying, I hope he's not talking to me. Yeah, I know, right? What the, <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Uh. Catalano TV, two bucks. I should be at this round table as John Buffer. You, 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 spelled, you spelled fluffer wrong. <laughs> you spelled Ew. buffet wrong, you fat fuck. We love you, Joey. Get the yeah. pepperoni. Get out of your ear. ears. We don't want you. We don't want I forget to how much Tiki hates Italian people. I forget. Uh, Gonzo Shitcock coming in. I got really high for the first time in a long time last night and thought, what if the other 8 billion people on the planet are wrong and SJ is right? <laughs> wow, that's pretty high. <laughs> yeah, I've had a few of those joints. <laughs> uh, Bob's fake pool, two bucks. Did Bob, Bob, did you call Mrs. Melendez for dry chicken? Oh, no, for that recipe? No, no I, I've been making it. It's not dry. It was kind of dry. Uh, TV, uh, 10, 15, five bucks. How about setting up a Dabbler Hall of Fame with the best SJ clips? Well, that was actually the uh, the Dabby Awards mm -hmm, is yeah. what you're uh, talking about when that is up online, I believe. Which, you, watch, which, uh, you know, uh, uh, there's rumors that uh, part two, DabbleCon 2, might be uh, in the works. That's all I've heard. You know, I love it. Confirm nor deny. I love it. We tried to get uh, John to be a part of it. Bob did. Yeah. Um, Maybe we'll keep trying. Nah, I think we're good. Uh. <laughs> I see you in your $2. How many seats does the Carlson have? FCE. 350, F electric. 400. Yeah, it's around there. I think it's uh, it's north of 300. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Bella Butt, 20 bucks. Two thumbs up and a heart. Uh, Bella Butt, you seem pretty attractive <laughs> if you want to email me. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have two thumbs and a heart. <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I retotted five bucks says, I think what John means to say is that Shuli is actually a mole. <laughs> that would make more sense. Yeah, there's a mole within that one. <laughs> He's five four. <laughs> Was a backwards cat. <laughs> He's an inch bigger than Shuli, and he yeah. calls him a midget all the time. Yeah, it's so funny. Exactly. Uh, Uncle Jack with five bucks says. So when is KB doing the show? I'd love to hear his level-headed take on this subject. That would be great. Do you think, uh, what's more likely? We get Suttering John on here or Kevin Brennan? Uh, John, probably. John. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hamburger, I'll give you big bucks when Ronnie comes on. Ooh. I know this is a lot of pressure on you, Shuley, but. Uh, Ronnie Mund? The, yeah. Can we get all the uh, Howard guys out here? Well, I'll be I'll be uh, booking guests next week while I'm in Vegas. Yeah. Believe me, that's awesome. Yeah, that, that is really cool. I'm looking forward to hearing the stories from that. McLevy, two bucks, Puppet One Hundred One. Angle the camera, not the puppet. What the fuck is going on? McLevy. There's no. That, it was a fucking chicken. Oh, it wasn't even a sandwich. Now you got me fucked up. <laughs> now they got you working fuck. at McDonald's. Look at that. Great. Uh, Indian bra, two bucks. John wanted Tukey, but he got Dookie. Am I right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pretty good stuff. Oh, uh, boy. Uh, Joey oh, C. Tukey, they need you in Sicily. You can't say no. Oh, go shove garlic up your nose, you fat slob. <laughs> go away. <laughs> no, you can't, you can't be racist on my channel, Tukey. I'll get my channel taken down. Tukey's trying to ruin my show. Do -do -do's. <laughs> Dr. Steve is here. Sorry, boys. Hey. I told Aunt Myrtle to get back to watching her stories and leave you alone. Have a great weekend. You too, yeah. Dr. Steve. You too. Love you, Doc. Uh, Hi, Dr. Yeah. Steve. Colin, two bucks. The Stuttering Tukey Show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Abacabus. Abac 
Kabus. How dare you attack our Lord and Savior, the Stuttering One? Without John, what do we have here? Shame, shame, shame. There has been no attack, sir. This is a discussion. This is a roundtable where we have intelligent discussions about how bad John's feet actually stink. If people right. on the Tonight Show told him they mm-hmm. stink really bad. Very, very stinky. That's got to be the stinkiest feet. <laughs> why, but why are people smelling your feet at work? That's Can what I'm talking just... about. When do you take your shoes off? <laughs> hey, does this Don't stink? You think they... <laughs> <laughs> he probably said, what's that smell? He goes, it's my feet. He goes, can you sit in the fourth row? <laughs> <laughs> and he never left. <laughs> yeah. Explains it now. Yeah. Bro- Brother Ted, two bucks. Let's get Royce on this panel. I'll, I'll reach out to him. Uh, Prince Grazzi for two bucks says, Shuli, you going to bring up my info? Tiger Lily asks. So, uh, yeah, he sent me some stuff on Jeff. I don't know yet, man. I'm not, you know, uh, I know it's public information but it's and it's kind of out there on reddit people have already posted some stuff so i probably won't uh no, no. but thank cryptic you for sending right now huh? it's all very cryptic this information that's getting out are they looking for you to yeah. lean into a yeah, bit julie exactly you exactly lean into it exactly i got you yeah fucking yeah. puppet knows what he's talking, no about. What talking about i have no idea what they're talking about. Mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. gout finger <laughs> five bucks i live not too far from pickwick should I film Stuttering John? This show rocks, by the way. No, no leave John alone. Let him be. Yeah, don't. Yeah, let him be. Oh, um, yeah. I mean, you can observe and report, but you don't need to film him. It is not like John to feed him. <laughs> this should be the only reason why John has two places, though, so he can go to these two different pubs. He travels back and <laughs> forth between that tomato place and Pickwick. Well, no, there's a, there's actually a reason, Tuki. It's because it's four dollar pints on Wednesdays at Stevie's, oh, and then the, the drink special on Thursdays. Uh, yeah. Happy hours, yeah. Because his son obviously doesn't give a shit that he's there because he didn't want to even see him for his birthday. He keeps saying, "I'm staying in California for my son." Your son doesn't even want to see you on your birthday. Go back to Florida. What the hell are we okay. doing? Okay, since you brought that up, I have a yeah. question for the panel here because I honestly don't know the answer to this. Why the fuck did John buy a house in Florida? I don't know. That's what I he's know. saying. It's I really don't think two different bars. That's it. Yeah, that's all he does. I, I think it was because I think it's just more of his mother moving there. You understand? You know, she hasn't moved there. Migrate. Though. What? She she still but lives on Long Island. It, but I'm thinking that it's she a probably slow migration. moved there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you but, think that? Because I know her name's on the house. And so you think that she's eventually going to move to that house and John and her are going to sure. live together? And well, I think John will stay. And when she dies, yeah, well, keep her up in the attic and keep her up in the <laughs> security checks. Ma! He'll have to yell her name at least once every stream so no one catches on that she's dead. My God. Right? <laughs> it's not psycho. Uh, yeah, I guess. Sicko, saying? fans. Is that what we're saying? <laughs> Um, what do you think, Shuli? What, what's your take on this uh, Florida house? I mean, it, it's it really makes zero sense. Uh, and and I mean, are you that much of an alcoholic where you're going? I know what I'll do. I'll have a backup place in case these bars get sick of me. Then I can go on the <laughs> on the co- uh, I can go mm. across the coast and hang out at a different pub makes and not have to worry about sense. Yeah, I've been, I've been to about... LA. There's a lot of bars. Yeah. He's not going to run out Wait. of bars anytime soon. But I now haven't. He needs... I have it. But hold on. But now he needs bars yeah. in walking distance for some reason that nobody knows. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? He's Bob? going there to rock the vote. That's oh. what he's doing. You're right. Oh. He's like, we didn't mean we're Democrats in Florida. All right. So much like someone infiltrated his show, he's going to infiltrate the uh, the red state. Exactly. Like did not do anything. <laughs> Tuki did not do this. Tuki, <laughs> you're all monsters. Oh, this is this person is accusing Tuki of selling drugs to Joey C's daughter. That's that's awful. That's inappropriate. Awful. Rest in rest Tuki in peace. Sells drugs, but not to her his daughter. Yeah, not. He doesn't have any money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For said, thank you for the five dollars. Much appreciated. Oh, I wanted to read through some of the. Uh, the names that people came up with for this show. And look, we had a logo made by uh, VP, but I'm not married to it. We can change it up. Uh, I liked, these are the ones I liked. You guys tell me if there's other ones. 
<laughs> Knights of the Dabbleverse. Not bad. Drunk Tank. That's pretty good. Like, yeah. Between Two Cores. I like that. Legion of Boom. <laughs> I like that. That's a good one. Chewing the Shit. That's always yes. fun. That's good. Uh, and then, of course, Meet the Depressed. Yes. It's very funny. What about Behind the Stench? <laughs> Behind the Stench, yeah. I like that. Uh, Skull Train, which we brought up earlier. Very funny. Yeah. Uh, Confederacy of a Dunce. <laughs> that's a good one it's, it's pretty good those are the ones that I had written down any other ones that you guys uh, heard Collective uh, Skull oh yeah, yeah Collective Skull yeah that's good the Skull that's Train good. that's a good yeah. one it's great I'm trying to think yeah, of any of the other ones <laughs> alright I mean listen there's a lot going on right now too Hack Pack Feedback mm. oh yeah yeah that, that mm-hmm. one's pretty good too I like that one too Brian Venucci with five dollars. Venucci, come on! If these are going to give you their money, you might as well say it right. <laughs> Even I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Venucci comes in with five dollars. Says those hats are selling briskly. Shit wire. They're practically <laughs> jogging off the shelves. <laughs> well, so are our hats at uh, theshuleynetworkshop.com. Uh, oh. Where you can get your own SW hats, snot wiper hats are available yeah. over at our store. What the hell is going on? I know it's so stupid. I think I was watching Tukey. He's pointing out. He's just like, who's gonna wear a shirt that just says SW? There's like yeah. flies and stick lines. It no, doesn't mean anything to anyone. <laughs> so stupid. So dumb. So so dumb. Stupid. Save your money. Uh, yeah. <sighs> C Max, two bucks theory. MJ's account is now ran by John's nephew. Oh. Maybe. Hmm. Uh PC Pebo uh, uh 23. John was served with divorce papers on their wedding anniversary. He has mentioned oh it several God. times. Oh, on their wow. wedding anniversary. I don't remember that. Mm-hmm. And he's the one who <laughs> fell out of love, apparently. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah. Uh, Joey C. Tukey, be careful. My cousin is coming yeah, from Sicily. Yeah, yeah, we know. Oh, Everybody's yeah, we from it. Everybody's in the mob. We get it. I, know. I feel like I'm at a fucking Olive Garden in Brooklyn. Calm the fuck down, Joey. <laughs> we get it. We get it. <laughs> to be fair, with $5, says, was listening to Tukey Soup on my road trip. F West Virginia Tolls. Love you, Tukey. Get on the biggest problem in the universe, Tukey. Oh, fantastic. Thank you. Do you know that show, The Biggest Problem in the Universe? Uh, I think people have mentioned it to me, but Tukey has not heard it. No. Okay. I've been on there. It's with uh, Dick Masterson and oh, Vito Giswalt. Yeah. Well, he flexed on you hard right there. Yeah, okay. I, well, the reason why I'm saying this is because I have an in. I can oh, okay. I can introduce you is my point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, are they just going to look at Tukey and go, what the fuck is this? <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, probably. Yeah. Tukey doesn't really exactly. work outside of this universe yet. We're working on it. He's <laughs> trying. We're trying to think of ideas. But right now, this is where Tukey works. That's a good point. <laughs> Big Daddy Dodo, five dollars. If Shuli and John had a physical altercation, <laughs> would that be considered midget wrestling? <laughs> I almost spit my coffee out. Uh, it'd be funny to watch. Sure. <laughs> Vinny Stitz, two bucks. Are large, round, and juicy. <laughs> Vinny Stitz. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, Tukey, oh, El Horrible, oh, hire me as your oh, new producer. Mozzarella smelling dummy. Uh, Rick Q, 3220, five bucks, says, my favorite SJ stories are where he crashes at someone's <laughs> place after drinking all their booze, and that somehow makes them best friends. He literally talks about sleeping over people's houses more than anyone else I've ever met in my entire <laughs> life. Yeah. Howard Stern, uh, who was the comedian that he was... Uh, doing the tribute for oh, joe Sam walsh Kinnison. you remember Sam this Kinnison. one jo- yeah joe walsh woke up with his girl the next day at three in the afternoon and he was still there <laughs> he He's hid he, he hid in joe walsh's house so he could spend <laughs> yeah. the night. what's that smell oh hey john's here <laughs> uh why aren't you talking about mrc shit quite impressive what am i missing here? Uh-huh. What is, what is Roach uh, saying? That's uh, 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 not just me. Dang lizard, five euros. Why is the show called 
Why is this show called Talking About Stuttering John's Kids? <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> I'm writing that down. That's a pretty funny show name idea. <laughs> Way to go. Now that, now that merch will fly off the show. <laughs> yeah. Call me crazy. <laughs> Uh, uh, Indian bra team box. FYI, John, the house speaker uh, position is vacant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Chris Baldassano coming in with five bucks. That's Chris. Brother. Have a great weekend, you bunch of philosophers. Well wishes to my boy Anthony. He will be back yeah. soon. Bob, you can cook me chicken any day of the week. Uh, thank you, buddy. And I should uh, uh, yeah. I should plug. Go to compoundmedia.com. I will be filling in for Anthony along with Eric Zane on Monday show, uh -huh. the Anthony Cumia show, which is uh, 4 p.m. And uh, maybe Kevin will uh, snipe it. Again, I think he's been sniping Ooh. that a little bit lately. So Ooh. that'll be fun. I'll be talking about crime statistics. It'll be a lot of fun. I'll be doing a very different show than I normally do. <laughs> Detective Bloor, Bloor, five bucks, says, Tukey... This is for you. I'm sorry you have to be so close digitally to two shoelies. I can't imagine the rage you are suppressing right now. Hail Tukey. Where did, this, where did this come from? Yeah, where did this come Tukey from? Tukey loves everyone. When I when I did my first live show in Chicago, someone brought a copy of Mein Kampf for me to autograph. Like, what the fuck? What, what, why? What, what is this all about? Did you yeah. autograph it? I barely ever praise Hitler. Yeah, did you sign did it right there. on the uh Comey's name <laughs> <laughs> right uh, sleep, <laughs> like a yearbook sleepy joe have a great <laughs> summer <laughs> 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 math class was rad <laughs> sleepy, sleepy joe five bucks uh what does this say all right someone read this one for me i'll, I'll make sure read this one can you re read that heil John Duff, ja oh Heil Jan Duff, John Dahl Schittler, yes, and his FF permanent solution. Oh my God, my buddy uh, who plays drums in the Isotopes sent us uh, a photo of a business like, right here in the town that I live in. It was called the Final Solution. It was like a gutter oh. place. <laughs> what was it? It was like gutter cleaning or something. It was called the Final Solution. I was like, huh. It's odd. The door only opens one way. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you can't leave once you get in. Roaches go in, but they don't come out. <laughs> uh, dang lizard with two euros. Vito will love Tukey like he does little kids. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> more, more than a friend. <laughs> more than a friend. Uh, Cardiff Electric wants to plug something. Boo. Get the fuck add, down. Add something to the show, Cardiff. <laughs> Don't forget, yo, remember yeah. the 90s at 9 p.m. tonight, FBL. All right. That's you, Bob, by the way. That's, That's Bob point, Levy. Man. That's you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Wait till I'm deep into Tukey. Call it. <laughs> <All right. laughs> oh, man. <laughs> John and Shuey boxing would be like Bob and Danny Bonaducci boxing. John would be Danny. Uh, buddy, I, I got an issue. Hey. I, I, I am far from a fighter. But I would beat John's ass. I would beat his ass. It's no question about it. Hands down. Live with yeah, that, and Melendez. I'd, and I'd like to say uh, that little jab that I gave Danny, you see him now, can't even walk. No, <laughs> That's good true. Point. Good point. That's yeah. true. Okay. It's all Levy. Yep. It was a delayed jab. <laughs> Rochi. Rochi coming in uh, with another two pounds says, I'll try again. Mrs. C. Shit. Quite impressive. FKB. Oh, my God. So they're saying Joey C. did it. Mm. So that was, that was Joey C.'s wife who was making the duty. It I, looked I, like I, a deep dish shit. Yeah. I feel bad that I jerked <laughs> off to it. Now I'm going to apologize to <laughs> Joey C. about that. <laughs> it's all right, Carl. It happens. <laughs> it happens. That's why pencils have a racist. Yes. <laughs> That's why there's paper towel. <laughs> uh, Sussmas Claus, two bucks, says, Tukey, Space Nerd says, you're her hall pass. Oh, fantastic. Oh, Tukey's getting all the pussy. It's really annoying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tukey what the fuck happened in her life? Ronnie Munn Jr., uh. a.k.a. Erection, 
two bucks. Thanks for the entertainment, gentlemen, and Levy. Oh, wow. That's nice. Yeah, anytime, to buddy. I don't think that was uh, an yeah. alphabet, Bob. <laughs> He's been chasing me around. He knows. Okay. He knows. I know. I know. Meredith Halfpenny is 14 Canadian dollars. Says, imagine being cucked by SJ. Cough, Vinny and Cardiff. Cough. Wait a minute. That's gay. Bob, he's a male puppet. Too. I know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one, no but one now, was concerned yeah. about that. I take your, I take your gay and I raise you gay all in. What do you think of that? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Tampa converters with five euro says, so Chad will not be on when Carl is hosting. Will anyone let Morse on? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, we're going to have different hosts on the show every week. And play it on different channels, so it won't. It won't always be us. There'll be different people coming in, and uh, we. I was asked the question this morning on the BS if uh, Vinny the lawyer could be on. It's fine. I wouldn't have Chad personally. I mean, it's not in my control, but I don't think it's the best move. He's Stinks. probably not paying attention. He's, he does stink. He's really bad at this. Oh, poor wait. Tukey. Hold on, Ch- wait, wait, wait. John's about to do something. Wait, 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 <laughs> wait. It's coming up. Yeah, wait, this is great. I- all the fake laughs in between. Over yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. This had me dying. Wait, here it comes. I don't know if you guys <laughs> are familiar with uh, how Tukey got his start, but Tukey's first show was Tukey watching the Mud Shark watching Misery Loves Company. Oh, right. Okay. And it got very boring very quick. He was just like, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're usually on in the afternoon, so I have yet to see Chad. Uh, I mean, when he was sniping us, we were going back and forth. But yeah, I haven't I haven't watched them tonight. You're They're not all missing. friends yeah, with that. Chad now, Carl. They don't I want know. to that Levi. I know it's fine. Whatever. And John. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Huh? Uh, what? What? That came out. That, I thought slip. I thought I got to go to the bathroom. I said, go get your tea. Yeah. Go get your testosterone. <laughs> Dang lizard with another five euro says dues pay. Don't underestimate the drunken master. Exactly. Does John have retard strength? Is that a thing? Like, could he mm-hmm. potentially oh, yeah. beat us all up? <laughs> Colin Madden, five dollars. Spoiler alert: This all ends with a big reveal that the Devil Verse is a dream inside the mind of Spider Alamar, yeah. staring into a s- <laughs> snow globe. <laughs> that is a spoiler alert. That is the greatest ending call this ever. <laughs> that is fantastic. All right, so. The funny thing about John, he has his birthday show and he's all excited because he got on a bunch of guests. I mentioned they had uh, Brett from the Midas Touch Brothers. He got on his buddy uh, Brian, who's on the show all the time. Richard Ojeda, who he still doesn't pronounce his name correctly, was on the show. But then he mentioned that he reached out to John Fugel saying and he didn't show up and he tried to get Opie on the show. Wow. And Opie said he never got the text and he said that Mike Ganji was supposed wow. to be on and he didn't come on the show. Well, Doug Goodstein did go on the show for a minute, mm-hmm. but I'm just wondering, why would you mention the people who didn't come on your this show? The birthday plans all over again. <laughs> yeah. Why is he doing that? What the the funniest do? thing is if you watch, uh, if you watch Doug Goodstein on all the time, watch how, how long it takes him to go. I, I, I got to go in a few minutes. He always, yeah. he's always trying to get out of there. It's the funniest thing. Yeah, and John so, keeps talking to him when he goes, I got to go do this. And he's walking, you know, he's making it like, I don't want to be doing this. It's like and an John Afghan hostage video. <laughs> <laughs> it really is like ISIS is holding him. <laughs> yeah. Did you see the part where Richard Ojeda was telling a very touching story about the first time he had to leave his family for a year? And he was telling the story. And then John goes, oh, uh, we have breaking news. And he, he starts to read a no nonsense, like a nonsense yeah. super chat. And then he goes, oh, uh, breaking news, Brian's back. <laughs> and he forgets all, like, Richard Ojeda was saying, like, John, I had to leave my family. I was leaving them for a year. It was my oh, no. first time. I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know if I'd ever seeing him again. It was the saddest moment of my life. And John's like, oh, we have breaking news. Uh, uh, Barista, thank you for the two ninety nine. dollars uh, John, why are you so drunk? Uh, never mind. All right, breaking news, Brian's back. It's fantastic. So it brings me back to uh, a very important question that was brought up in Star Wars. Who's the more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows? Mm -hmm. What is Richard Ojeda doing with this guy? How many examples of this have we heard where John's is so disrespectful to him, to his face? Mm -hmm. He just keeps going back on his shell. Why? What's going on? I think the army major is just a very nice man and he's loyal and he doesn't know how to quit John. 
<laughs> okay. Well, he, he, he thinks, you know, he's a guy who believes, right? And he believes that John can turn this around, that John can break out of this world, this cycle, whatever the fuck it is. And, and sadly, it's not up to the Army Major. It's up to John. And that ain't going to happen anytime soon. Yeah, it's it's been very interesting to uh, watch as John tries to get some of his old friends back since he came back on the internet, and uh, he's got a couple of them. Richard Ojeda never left his side, but he's starting yeah. to slowly bring these people back on. And when I was asking the question early on, and I, I still want to discuss this of what's John's future going to be. He's got to abandon the political show. Oh, Nobody yeah. cares about it. It is so boring. <laughs> it's it's bad. I, I tuned in for a little bit of it on his birthday and I just like scrubbed to a certain part and they're talking about Trump. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. You guys, you're still talking about Trump. Why? Nobody cares. All right. Dan Tanner, $5 says, can we please convince little John stud that him and Tom Myers would be a great podcast? Oh my gosh. That would be the greatest thing to ever happen. That'd be my wet dream. It would be the greatest thing. The Looney Tunes critic, $5. When, where will the next DabbleCon be? I couldn't afford it last time, but I've been saving up. Very good, everybody. Save your pennies for the next DabbleCon. It should be in Vegas, I think. I, think I, so? I really think Vegas. Yeah, the big one in Vegas or California. But... See, here's my only thought on this, Bob. And I, I know people will travel to the destination shows, so maybe I'm off on this. Most of the people who are in the Dabbleverse or in the Northeast because they're old Howard Stern fans. And New York City. Anthony. We'll see you there. DabbleCon 2. I, I'll, I'll tell you what. We did very well in Philadelphia. We sold that show out very quickly. Uh, New York, Philly, Boston, us. any yep. of those markets uh, yeah. are, are big in the Dabbleverse for sure. Yeah. But I do like the idea of going out to Vegas. That would be fun. Yeah. I want to see, see a concert in that fucking dome. Yeah. <laughs> I would even go oh. see you too. If I could go to that place and see a concert. I would suffer through YouTube yeah. just to see that. I was trying to, somebody had a film of it from their phone and I was watching it last night with my wife and they make their boring songs even more boring live. I couldn't <laughs> believe they're just dragging out with or without you forever. I'm like, Jesus Christ. What are you guys doing? Well, hear me out. You can buy advertising on the outside of that sphere. So I think we get I think we get a few people together here, raise up some funds. I think it's like three hundred thousand dollars or something for like uh, uh, yeah. not bad. You know, they flash bad. it up for half a second, uh, and then you nothing, never see it. Nothing again. but Tukey's face. <laughs> I, was actually, sell tickets. I was actually thinking Ray DeVito. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> With his new haircut. The sphere today was turned into a giant pink blanket, and no one is sure why. <laughs> Sleep me, Joe, two bucks. Fugle saying is going the way of SJ's daughter. All right. Mm. We don't talk about kids on here, although we are going to change the name of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Darren Petty, 10 bucks. Just watch the Dodo video on Facebook. I can't believe it's still up. What an idiot. John is not playing us, Carl. Okay. This was one of my theories that John can't be this stupid. And I, I got to the point, it wasn't just like one or two things that he did. It was... 80 things he did every episode for three weeks straight. I'm like, okay, there's no one this stupid in the world. There's no way he's got to be playing us right now and playing it up. And nobody's agreed with me so far. Nobody's on board with that theory. No. Okay. The fact that you still think that theory has any type of legs or merit is now I'm starting to feel you're doing a fucking work. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Follow okay. the booze and the prescription pills. You're right. Yeah. Yeah, because you know. Ray DeVito. He got his, he got his <laughs> yeah. video taken off of, or he got his channel struck for a week or suspended or whatever it is for a week. And he still has that same video up on his Facebook page. Tells me he really is this dumb. Yeah. He definitely is this stupid. It's shocking. Somebody had to tell him, right? And say it's up. So somebody had to. I, I think, yeah. <laughs> I, think yeah I don't know if Hal Sparks is still in the works. <laughs> I mean, what kind of friends are Vinny and Cardiff if they haven't mentioned this to <laughs> That's him a yet? Good yeah. point, Shirley. What the good fuck? <laughs> to be fair, five bucks. Dick and Vito would love you, Tuki, especially Vito. He loves puppets. T W O. Oh, fantastic. Sean stuff, five bucks. Tuki is the uh Tuki can't read either, Carlo. What does that say? I don't know. Go ahead, Bob. Bob, you know that one. Go for it. A is. 
Thank oh, the dabble verse. <laughs> also, yeah. could you shout out my friend Rachel Slur? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Rachel Slur. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Bang Lizard, five euros. We all saw John. We all saw how John convinced Ohita that Kumia is an SCM bag that deserves a curb stomping. Wow. That's true. We did see that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> didn't. Shut it. Didn't want to curb stop Kumia. But didn't John the other day say he was happy that Kumia was in the hospital uh, oh, with that was heart issues awful. or something? Yeah. Dude. Uh, couldn't happen to a better person. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Speaking of, of shitheads, Opie tweeted out a photo wow. of Anthony's Twitter page and it says blocked. It says Anthony Kumia is blocked and he wrote get it. Opie, what are you Whoa! doing? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hacka, hacka. A new low. What a douchebag. There's a place in a time, Opie. <laughs> yeah, I know. Exactly, Opie. <laughs> too, too soon. Wait till he oh, comes back. He finally yeah. makes a joke. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, I wonder if he's got new merchandise if, if Anthony doesn't uh, make it through this one. <laughs> the Black <Widow. laughs> uh, The greater good five bucks. Please plug my new card detailing business. Flashbacks for Nanking. I mean, flashbacks of Nanking. Flashbacks <laughs> of Nanking. Yeah, flashbacks oh. of Nanking. Let's just keep saying it, just in case you do that. That's a good strategy, too. I think it's the Suttery John strategy. Can you activate a sleeper cell for me and say this three times? Thank you. Uh, Will asks five bucks as I have a cousin named O'Brien. That's fantastic. It's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. There's a Thank such you thing for... as Tourette's super chats, you know. Uh, thank you for thank you for sharing that. That's uh that's fantastic. All right. John on his show recently said that Shuli took this bit and ran it into the ground. Thank and you. then 30 seconds later, he said, Which one? He's <laughs> goofing on John. Oh, he, he no, goes, I think you just took it and we all just ran it into the ground. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> 30 seconds later, he goes, and I'm going to remind Shuli he's done nothing in show business every single day. Wow. He has no self awareness. Yeah. I'm on the screen about. with a puppet. I get it. You don't have to tell me. I got it. We got it. Yes. <laughs> this is not going to make IMDb anytime soon. Yeah. Don't you think I'm bookers say that every day to us? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, too. You're one of the good ones. I love you. Thank you. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Thank you. Uh, J Word. <laughs> uh, Hey, did John add a person to his celebrity list of people he's made laugh yesterday on Twitter? Oh, so I heard him say oh. uh, Obama, Leno, Howard. Who else? Oh, Obama. I didn't, oh, okay. ever, I didn't know he Obama. used to say Obama. Yeah, I know he used to talk about Leno and Stern, but I don't remember Obama. So that's Tukey's fault. Yeah, apparently, I don't know what the connection was. Some stupid video or something that he helped put together and obama was on the tonight show i don't know what it was no i think he was talking to him about old fireworks or something i think i heard that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i never had those john that could be obama wrong chasers obama <laughs> <Yeah>. chasers. <laughs> we say that up it's good uh, all right if uh devilcon 2 is in vegas we are so there all right well there's a vote for vegas to happen too me right too. there I haven't been to Vegas, uh, I think, since uh, last time I was hanging out with Shuli out there. Yeah. Last time. Uh, Ricky Bev, two bucks. I also have a cousin named Ryan. Hi, Tukey. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello to your cousin Ryan. The fuck is going on? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Super Chats. The Looney Tunes Critic, $50. Thank you, the Looney Tunes Critic. Carl, Vince the Warriors got John's number. Narcissist. John, a typical narcissist can tune out literally anything if it doesn't support their vision of themselves. He tunes out every stupid thing he does. So, yes, he is that stupid. All right. John's obsessed with the word narcissist. He wants to figure out who's a narcissist. And John has every single trait Mm -hmm. of a narcissist. It really Lady K, complete narcissist. (laughs) I'm a narcissist. A narcissist. (laughs) He he doesn't just brevity thing. Yeah, right. (laughs) 
But he doesn't just have a couple traits. He's riddled with it. He is the definition. Like, he is patient zero of mm-hmm. narcissism, I feel like. Only a true narcissist can go over and turn on their wall AC unit and then talk about how awesome they're doing. <laughs> oh, man. Every single episode, too. He never turns out the AC before he starts the show. He always goes, oh, it's getting hot in here. Hold on. I got to go turn on my air conditioning. Maybe he thinks that's a flex. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> He's got air. My air is conditioned. <laughs> Just like don't mean air. to. Yeah. I'm a don't mean, I don't, don't mean to. Bra- I don't mean to brag, but this wall unit's going to get a little loud. Sorry. (laughs) Uh, Dang Lizard wants to know when the Patrick Michael roundtable will start like fish to water. That's a good idea. Got all the experts on uh, Patty Seacops in there. Hmm? Will ask five bucks. Got to review John on 9-11 one of these days. Oof. Yeah. So my buddy, Mike Geary, blind Mike, did a show with my other friend, Drew Lane, about 9-11 on the Howard Stern show. And it's so funny because the clips they were playing, John happened to be in the studio at the time. And all he wanted to talk about was the time he hung out with Pam Anderson and he thought yeah. that Pam Anderson was into him. And there's there's people <laughs> jumping out of fucking buildings to their death. And John's going, anyway, Howard, what do you think about her tits though? Am I right? It's like, this is not appropriate right now, John. I don't know why you're... He, he, thought, he thought he would comfort Howard during this time. <laughs> Uh, Hour one, swordfish. Just, <laughs> yeah. Hour one just collapsed. Yes, Howard, do you see swordfish? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care. Moment. Buildings fall all the time. <laughs> uh, the, the Looney Tunes critic. I have caused the shift themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Very <That's> impressive. <laughs> oh, look at this right here! Yay, super chats. DJQ says, have a great weekend, boys. Love the Muppet, by the way. FSJ. Well, thank you very much, DJ. I feel like it's my birthday. Mm-hmm. This is really amazing right now. Maybe I should pretend it is. Yeah, you got to watch Thunder in Paradise and do this. Jeez. I was on the BS <laughs> show this morning. It's just nonstop <laughs> fun for me. Very cool. All right. Now, I kind of went through all my list of things that I wanted to uh, discuss. Is there anything that's on your guys' mind about uh, the week that was or... Uh, theories on centering john going forward uh like i said he's going to come back by himself it's definitely going to be by himself he can't he's not going to trust anybody he can't at this point he truthfully can't but he still does up until yesterday bob he shouldn't be trusting anyone in the last four years of his life he should have stopped trusting but the shit hit the fan last night you know yeah the shit hit something (laughs) But yeah. actually fell on the floor at the way it came out. Uh, yeah, I, I, I mean, this is actually a blessing for him because yeah. he was overexposed. He was doing too much. And so, you know the saying, how, how, how can I miss you if you don't go away, right? So right. Now, now he's gone for a week. And when he comes back, the man's got white hot heat. Everybody's going to be yeah. looking to hear what the fuck has got to say? What happened? What's the latest? And then by a half hour, we're going to be like, this guy's learned nothing. And nothing's changed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Let's see. Very accurate. Let's see. Yeah, I'm with Shuli on that. Yeah, yeah. Time Apart does make the heart grow fonder. And uh, yeah. I've been saying for a while that John's just overexposed mm-hmm. to the point where by the time I play a clip of him, he's already done seven more dumb things oh. you know, yeah. in the last three hours. It's like, What's the point of this? I know. Yeah. It's all old news by the time we get to it. Yeah. It's insane. So you're right. This might be a blessing for him. And he probably needs a little bit of time off from the internet anyway. Because it's not good. For yeah. Him. I don't cut back on drinking. Think about what you're going to do. And then come back. <laughs> come back on Go drink. to church. <laughs> you think now that he has no responsibility, he's going to cut back on drinking? <laughs> oh, my God. It's time to party. <laughs> oh, that's okay. That There is one other thing I wanted to talk about. And that is John's new thing with Mountain Dew. Oh yeah, this is he's, good. He drinks Mountain Dew like it's beer. Like he's like, like he's chugging Mountain Dew, and he's like, oh, that hits the spot. He kept saying that hits the spot, and I just want to point out, I've never met a smart person who drinks Mountain Dew in my life. No. <laughs> you remember wow, you're right. 90s? Remember when they would talk about how uh, Mountain Dew will kill your sperm? Remember yes, that I rumor remember back that. in the nineties? 
I was hoping maybe, it was true. Yeah, maybe that's, <laughs> yeah. What made, that, maybe that's what made John Sperm so stupid that it doesn't know what gender it is. Do you yeah. think there was a theory I saw that somebody said he's putting uh, something else in a Mountain Dew bottle so people won't know oh. that he's drinking alcohol because the bottle's green, the green screen. Yeah. So it's literally uh, like, it's like an illusion. I don't get you, it. You got me, Julie. I'm drinking melon liqueur. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Purell wouldn't shock me if he's chugging it. <laughs> yeah. Mixed with scope. <laughs> I've never seen someone chug soda like that. Yeah. It's not a, a normal way to. I mean, unless you're. 11. I think just Gatorade yeah. is something you drink like that. That's yeah. it. You know? Gatorade's not carbonated. It makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, but a Mountain Dew, it's so bizarre to me. And he was, he's all excited about it. He's like bragging. And then he's, so he's drinking Mountain Dew. It's, you know, the afternoon where he lives. And then he brings on this guy, Brian, who comes on the show all the time. And John's like, no, I got to crack open a cool because I know Brian's going to drink with me. Like, John has all these rituals. He always has to watch every Yankees game. He has to watch the Giants. He, everything is, is revolves around drinking. Like, oh, well, I do my show, and this is the drinking show. And then I watch sports, and that's the drinking sports. So then I do. It's just drink. So yeah, everything drink. is basically, okay, every day he's going to drink. Right. Yeah. I mean, right. there isn't a date or two that you go, uh, uh, you know, you, most people go days without drinking. Sure. And but every day it's set up like on Thanksgiving. If he goes to see his mom, she's going to have beer and he'll check to see if there's beer there. Yeah. Anything he goes to, you got beer. He has to be covered, I bet, because he she, can't stop. Yeah. Or, she goes, or bad news. Himself. Yeah. She's like, mm -hmm. bad news. We don't have a bed for you. Good news. Bridge of stock with beer. <laughs> yeah, it's, Two it's thumbs up. Like he's addicted. <laughs> it's almost like that. Yeah. Arthur Jackson, two bucks. Don't you mean Pamela Anderson? Yes, I, that is what I meant. Thank you. Hayden Divine, Tukey is our Lord and Savior. Praise be Tukey. Oh, the Looney Tunes, <laughs> Craig, two bucks. Will he come back looking even more like Lady Die? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It is scary. Yeah, nothing can stop it. Big what if he, come, he comes back dressed as a, a Mormon? He's like, I want to talk to you guys about the uh, clock tower or the watchtower, whatever it's called. Let's have a discussion. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, save the clock tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big Daddy Dono, five bucks. Thank you, boys, for a great show, and happy birthday to the dues payer. Love you, brother. Thank you, brother. Birthday to the dues payer. Is it your birthday, dues payer? Sunday. Sun Sunday. Oh, Sunday. Uh, Sunday. Happy Sunday. birthday. And uh, oh, so that's your your president is getting Dr. Drew on potentially. Huh? That's right. I like right. It. Every Jew wants a doctor as a president. Believe me. Munch bunch, <laughs> two bucks. Head bully Shuli, the dues pay a shit way a school. <laughs> Monty with seven Canadian dollars. All my favorite guys and puppets together. Love you, gents. Love you, Monty. Yeah, love Monty. Very much appreciate. I, I got upgraded to a puppet. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> <laughs> Reels. Hey, Lady K, what happened to Croge? Croge uh, stopped doing the show. I think he's I think he's mad at all you folks who go on Reddit and praise him all the time. It's like, it's too much. I can't take it. It's uh, embarrassing for him. It's embarrassing. I wish they would give some more love to you, Carl, is what he told me. And they're yeah. always saying I'm the best, but they should be saying you are. <laughs> You're the host. Uh, Man pad, $5. When John gets very angry, he becomes Tsunami John. Uh, a tsunami. He starts spitting all over. It's yeah. true. Dang lizard. Oh, but th John's like, I don't, I don't get angry, <laughs> and I am very sensitive. <laughs> it's very sensitive. <laughs> Dang lizard is five euros. Tuki, how did you get all of those puppets to do a stream with you? <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah, he's Not... the, the master. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. I get it. I'm getting tired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool cut casting two bucks carl why do you say exact g it's exactly oh no one ever told me that before thank you now i know <laughs> mason in portland five bucks apparently sj did a mass unblocking on x yesterday i was lo lucky enough to make the cut oh wow. shit am i unblocked let me check no you're still well, i gotta but say i, I mean uh, really yesterday's the day you picked to unblock Tons of people. Uh, I'm, I'm still blocked. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. Let yeah. me see. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's he's like, you know what? It's time to start trusting people more. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've been a fool. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't like the term mass unblocking. <laughs> yeah, it makes me nervous. I'm still blocked. <laughs> You're still blocked as well. I'm not kind of jazzy. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us. I think next week this is going to be go. on your uh, channel, right, Shuli? Yeah, I believe next Friday we'll be doing it on the on the Shuli Network, uh, unless okay. Tuki can you know. <laughs> network. <laughs> Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a channel, you idiot. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll we'll be we'll be looking forward to doing this uh, on our channel. And thank you for for having us and yeah. and uh, this was fun, man. Thank you. I yeah. love. It. I agree. I don't know what the lineup's going to yeah. be. I know Andrea Brower wants to be on, and um, I know oh, moderator to the mediocre. <laughs> yes, uh, I know Missy <laughs> D is interested in Fantastic. being a part of this. There's a lot of people who have reached out. Who are interested, so we'll get that uh, we'll get that figured out. But uh, Carl, we can do a show where it's just former moderators on. Like we could we could yeah. just have them on one show. That listen, I've I've talked to Hockey Puck. He's interested in coming on. Me I, too. I got to follow up with him. Me too. Yeah, he's got some uh, stories to tell. And and Benny came on uh, our show with uh, Andrea. Yeah, um, <laughs> Benny's a John good dude. Smith. We can get John. <laughs> get them on here. No, Ryan Sharman, obviously. He's been yes. uh he's been a part of these shows. Ryan Phantom Orr. Dennis. Phantom Dennis. Boom. Was he a oh, mod? John's friends? No, but huh? people who have had some interaction with John. Yeah. Uh, he affected how about his Cardiff? life. Cardiff. There really? you go. We can't have uh, God, you see. Fucking no, not coward. until I, March eleventh. That's when Cardiff can come on. March eleventh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um so any plugs you want to get out there, Shuli? What do you got coming up? Uh, we'll we'll be Monday through Friday or Monday through Thursday BS show uh, in the morning on the Shuli Network and Uncle Rico Blunder Years. You got Patreon, the Shuli Network, and YouTube member up. And uh, thank you everybody for tuning in and supporting yeah. us. And uh, Shalom Shuli, Twitter and Instagram. That's it. All right, and uh, Bob Levy. Uh, all what he said, and also uh, October 12th, I'll be at Tiff's Comedy Club in Morris Plains, uh, New Jersey, with Sam Tripoli. So it's going to nice. be nice. Nice. That'll be a fun show. Yeah. I like Sam. Mm -hmm. He's great. Um, ask him about 9-11 uh, and January 6th. It'll be a fun conversation. Okay. Hot dog. <laughs> $20. $20. Thank you uh, very much for that. Tukey, you have a channel. What is their channel? Oh, it's at bedabbler, but just go to tukisoup.com and there's a link tree for all my crap and you can find all my crap there. And you are doing, you are doing uh bedabbler Saturdays at 10 a.m. Eastern time, right? Yes. Tomorrow is our 50th show. We'll be sending out a Whoa. link to some famous celebrities to kiss our butts for a couple minutes. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, wow. all that kind of crap. Wow. But yes. You're the big time. And Tukey Soup is Sunday nights, I believe, right? Tukey New Yep, Tukey Soup, Sunday nights at 10 p.m. Be dabbling live Saturday mornings, 10 a.m. Thank you, Carl. <laughs> Thank you for including me on another John show. I know we don't have a lot of these kinds of shows. <laughs> it's about good. time, right? <laughs> yes, it's good <laughs> that I could show my face on a show like this. I'm not sure Ugh. what John or Shuli and Bob talk about all day, but uh, it's good to see a show Focusing on just John. Finally, right. Someone had to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Bang, oh, Wizard. Bang Wizard asks, uh, oh, he says, Bob can uh, make his famous hockey puck chicken when we have hockey puck. Get on. the, you don't, uh, <laughs> forget it. Gross. <laughs> chicken looks gross. Uh, Erection says, have you seen, have any of you seen Orange Red Levy? What a <laughs> what? sweet. <laughs> He had a he had a lighting issue earlier in the week, and he, he they, had okay. Let me explain this. They sell. Yes. They try to make everybody come out there. They sell pink, uh, reddish kind of uh, light bulbs now. I had to get one from you know on the porch to put in a white one. I don't have any. They're all pink. I mean, this is bullshit. His wife buys everybody. your wife buys light bulbs to keep you calm. You understand what a what a maniac you are? I'm fucking calm. So <laughs> you're shopping at the same light bulb store as Kevin Brennan is what you're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't buy my sneakers. I ain't a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Well, uh, producer Chris, thank you so much. Of we'll course. be on WATP tomorrow, 2 p.m. Uh, we're live in our Discord. And if you want to watch the show, support us on Patreon or Supercast. 
or YouTube, become a member. And we always get the link out to everyone if they want to watch. Thank you, everyone who participated in the chat today. Thanks for watching the show. I think this has been a success. Yeah. Of course, next week, John will have done nothing. Oh my God. So um, <laughs> that's, that's the only problem with this. It was, today was perfect timing for this, but yeah, right. next week might be a little more difficult. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, thank, thank you all very much. Thank you, guys. And, thank uh, you. Very good. I think yeah. I have a sign off. Oh, what do you got? If I was such a loser, why is everybody so mad that I'm leaving? <laughs> sure. Point devil point. A stuttering John Miranda's roundtable discussion.